Welcome to the 2023 Barstool Bolero Invitational Finale here at Bolero just outside of Chicago. Thank you everyone for joining us here today. We have a fantastic tournament set up for you live on the Part of My Take YouTube channel. Bolero, thank you for having us. An absolutely fantastic venue, hundreds of locations around America. You gotta check out Bolero. You can enjoy bowling, food, drinks, and guaranteed lanes whenever you reserve online. Visit bolero.com using promo code BARSTOOL for 15% off your next reservation. This offer is valid through August 31st. So plenty of time to use that promo code bolero.com, promo code BARSTOOL, 15% off your next reservation. Bowling is a fantastic time. Here's what we have on tap for you today. We have 16 bowlers here, a single elimination, one game per round tournament, and the bracket is as follows. At the top of the bracket, it's the battle of Pardon My Take, Big Cat versus Henry Lockwood. The second matchup, the battle of New Orleans. Welcome back, Benjamin Mintz. He makes his return here at Bolero going against Megan Making Money. Stephen Shea practiced last night. No pressure, Stephen. He takes on Sydney Wells. Nick versus White Sox. Dave, the bottom half of the bracket. Brandon Walker, fresh off of COVID versus Chief. And then we have Darian. Darian won the Barstool Bolero sweepstakes. Darian is a stoolie. He's up here from Atlanta, and he will be competing against Carl, who has tons of bowling experience himself. KB versus Dante, and then Eddie, who has his own ball, against Titus. So, each bowler, the, for the first round, all eight matchups will be happening simultaneously. So we have eight lanes in a row here. We'll bounce around and highlight some of the close matchups. And then after the first round, once we get to the quarterfinals, uh, things will settle in and we'll have two matchups at a time for the quarters. And then we'll go one at a time, semis and finals. So, will the 16 bowlers please take their positions at their lane? And we are just moments away from kicking off the Barstool Bolero Invitational Finale here in Illinois. Exciting stuff, thank you for joining us on the Part of My Take YouTube channel. Go ahead and, sub and subscribe while you're there. All right, bowlers, are you ready? Yeah! Three, two, one, bowl! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start off at lane number 24. We have Henry Lockwood versus Big Cat in the Battle of Part of My Take. Hank, that is a seven to begin. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, last time I played Big Cat and during the bowling stream, I beat him, so I'm one and oh in my last one. He's a pretty good bowler, but I'm, I'm ready to take him down today. And we recently announced a huge collab with Bolero and the shirts we're wearing. Part of my cheesesteak, I hear that part of my cheesesteaks are now going to be sold at Bolero's Nationwide. Huge news, great cheesesteak, great bowling, great great collaboration. Uh, some guy also tweeted me, he said, if I get a strike within my first five lanes? Frames. Frames. He's going to buy part of my cheesesteak for lunch, so I'm doing that. All right, Hank, good luck. He's playing Big Cat. Big Cat has disappeared for the moment, so we'll move on to lane number 25. I come back to Big Cat in a second as Hank goes for his spare opportunity, and he fails. Over to lane number 25. It's the Battle of New Orleans. We have Megan making money. Did you just open with the strike? Megan on fire. Uh, so, Megan, you're going up against Mintz. Mintz is a fan favorite right now because of his return less than 24 hours ago. How are you feeling about your New Orleans match? Um, I'm excited. Mintz is back. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better person to uh, send back to Louisiana to sell some watches. All right, well, good luck. We got to talk to Ben Mintz. Back to Barstool Sports after yesterday's big news. Ben, you made your debut on the Yak. How are you feeling ahead of this Barstool Bolero? Finale. I feel a lot better about my return to Barstool than my chances in this bowling tournament. It's, this is this is the first time I've bowled since my first college experience. Not the second or third. We're talking the first one, which was 20 years ago. But I hit eight pins on my first roll. That's encouraging. At least the Saints fans are going to win this. But, I mean, I just can't believe I'm, this is where I am right now. 24 hours ago, I'm running around North Louisiana. And now I work for Barstool Sports, and I'm in Chicago in a bowling tournament. The lovely Bolero. Uh, what could be better? All right, well, Ben, good luck. Happy to have you back. I need, I need it. All right, let's move on to lane number 26. Stephen Che, a lot of eyeballs on him. Stephen, I heard you practiced last night, taking this very seriously. Do you feel that added a lot of pressure here with the target on your back? No, there should always be a lot of pressure on me because I am one of the better athletes here. 
But I mean, we're in a bowling tournament. We're trying to win the tournament. Of course I'm going to practice. I didn't know we were going to have open lanes today to kind of mess around at Bolero, which is a great facility. But no, absolutely got to practice. You got to stay sharp. I'm glad I got a couple of rusty games out of my system. I'm ready to dominate today. All right, well, good luck. Moving on to our fourth matchup, the bottom of the top half of the bracket. It is Nick Terraney against White Sox Dave. Nick, I know you and White Sox Dave, best friends. How are you feeling about this matchup? I'm feeling pretty good, bitch. How are you been? Feeling great. Yeah. Excited to be back on the mic with you potentially later on. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I miss yeah. you. Double miss you too. White Sox Dave, how's your bowling skills? Blow me, Jake. And also All right, moving on to the bottom. Working. Moving on to the bottom half of the bracket, Brandon Walker. Straight off of COVID, glad yeah. to see you're doing better. No, no, just car wreck. Do and your car wreck, glad stress, to see you're okay. Uh, what is your bowling experience? Not very good at all. I used to do rock and bowl back in Starkville, Mississippi. We were terrible. All right, well, good luck. Chief, going against Brandon Walker in your hometown. Been all over the place so far, so I picked up a spare. He's got a, watch this, he's got a very unorthodox bowling style. It's like his body's too big for this sport. Like, what is that? He looks like a mute. Yeah, it, he's going to tear something by the end of today. All right, so we'll keep an eye on lane number 28, Chief versus Brandon Walker. Really now moving on to lane number 29, let's down. introduce you to our yeah, Barstool Bolero sweepstakes winner. It's Darian from Atlanta. Darian, a big-time stoolie. And now you have the pleasure of having Kyle True, a PBA, the 2021 PBA Bowler of the Year. Is that correct? You have him for the ninth frame. You can use him for the ninth frame. How does it feel to be here? Check the bright lights of the Barstool Bolero invitation. Hey, I'm really happy to win some, be around some great people. It's a great experience and I appreciate you guys. Two, 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 two. And Kyle, you have the ninth frame. Uh, I mean, it seems like strike or bust. You're the pro here. Oh yeah, I mean, all the pressure's on me here. Luckily, Darren's bowling pretty well, so he's giving me a, maybe a little bit of head start because Carl needs to work on his bowling game a little bit. Carl with a K, it's like his alter ego, his bad bowling. So uh, I'm looking forward to throwing a strike from a main Darian. All right, well, good luck, guys. We'll see you later. Moving on to the last two frames, excuse me, lanes of this first round. It's KB versus Dante. Kyle, welcome to the Barstool Bolero Invitational. Uh, 54 right now, and you just got a spare. How's your game right now? Uh, strike, two yeah. spares, four in. Uh, that's about as good as it can get for me, I think. All right, well, good luck. Moving on to our eighth and final first round matchup. It is Mark Titus versus Eddie. Titus for the second straight day wearing a wake up Mincy shirt. But are you pulling for yourself or you want Mincy to win that? Jake, I love you. I'm in the fucking zone. I don't have time for this right now. Fair enough. And Eddie, you brought your own bowling ball. It has a very good lollipop set to it. How much luck do you think that'll bring you today? Yeah, I could have won with candy pop or a blueberry muffin. I took candy pop. Feel good. Just missed a turkey though. It's a cage match. It's a good round going on the end. All right, well, good luck, Eddie. All right, so that's it. That's the 16 players who are competing in the first round of the Barstool Bolero Invitational. Uh, single elimination. Quarterfinals coming up next. I'm going to head I'm gonna head over to the broadcast booth, and I believe Chaps and Kate will take over sideline duties. So we will begin that process, and I'll see you over at the booth. I'm t yeah, I locked all of them. I, I locked them. Gave it to Chaps. Am I, am I sticking with Chaps? <laughs> I was getting there. Okay. Yeah. Che, you did all that practicing last night, and you're down big so far. How, what are your thoughts? Does that sound big? We're about oh, huge. You're down huge. Sydney, Sydney surprising. I mean... Spare going into a strike. She just has a little tough little split right now. I mean, she's a good player. She's a bit, obviously with hunting and fishing. She's got great aim. Oh my God, she almost knocked that through. A little bit of a sharpshooter. Sydney, you're on fire right now. Your thoughts about kicking Chase ass? I am going to kick Chase ass in the most uh, sportsman-like way. I'm all excited actually. I'm a little adrenaline rush right now. Oh, you're doing I'm doing better oh, no. than I thought, actually. So far, so good, I think. think? Well done. No, I think you're doing... I was surprised you're coming straight down the middle. I think that you haven't even gotten all the breaks that you deserved. Oh. No, yeah. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, that's split. Yeah. He knows how to do this for some reason. I feel like he goes more than, like, once a night. He's, like, practicing every day for this. Big time. Who to go to, but yeah, I throw a half or, yeah. all right, we are 
live here at the broadcast booth. I am Jake Marsh. This is Kyle Troop, the 2021 PBA Bowler of the Year. Kyle, we're very early into this competition. What are you seeing out of our competitors so far? I'm seeing some competitors. You know, these uh, these are maybe some casual bowlers, but I can tell they they want to compete. They want to win this tournament. I've seen a peek at the trophy. Looks pretty sweet, and uh, the vibe is fun right now. Yeah, they're definitely. Loose. They're having fun. So it's a 16-person single elimination uh, tournament. Uh, you're with Dar Darian, who is the Barstool Bolero sweepstakes winner. You will bowl the ninth frame for him. Um, what do you think is going to be more pressure, your your PBA tour events or this ninth frame with the Sulis watching nationwide? Uh, it's definitely the ninth frame. I mean, all the pressure is on me. Uh, when I left Darian, he was in about a tie game with Carl. You know, uh, Carl with a K is out there right now. His alter ego, his bowling game was looking a little south, but... Hopefully I can bring some love to my man Darian here, throw a strike for him. I haven't really warmed up too much. You know, I normally get 10 minutes of practice on the PBA Tour, so this may be a little extra pressure and a little extra difficulty, but I guess that's my job. I'm a professional yeah. bowler, so let's get it. Absolutely. So right now we have an issue with lane 24. That is Big Cat versus Hank. Not exactly what the issue is. Big Cat's going to come over here and explain what's going on. All right, we're here with Carl. Carl has a lot of pressure, the known bowler. Yeah. Just through a five, how are we feeling? Yeah, it's a tough break here. Didn't get a chance to get comfortable <laughs> so. on the oil patterns. It's 32 lanes here. The topography at the Bolero, it slopes a little bit more uphill. We're starting to take it into account. Still confident here with the, this next shot. A little bit of a trick shot if you want to stick around for it. I do want to stick around for it. Let's see this trick shot. So I want to give a shot. I, are we still live? I don't know. Are we live? Okay. All right. So people in the chat who are complaining, I understand you can't see anything right now. It's a 16-team person tournament. So the first round, we're going to speed through. As soon as we get through the first round, then we will start watching each game solely. So just bear with us. This is just to weed out the shitty bowlers like Hank, who I'm dominating right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sorry, Hank. God. So appreciate it. Uh, the patience for everyone. You're looking at Ben Mintz for off his return to Barstool Sports, and that's a gutter ball. How familiar are you with Barstool, Kyle? Somewhat. I follow him a, a decent amount on social. Uh, you know, obviously the big news, the Prez is back. I've seen that. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. I'm sure Barstool is going to be pumping out some pretty fire content the rest of 2023. Uh, you know, a lot of personalities. Uh, I really enjoy the brand, you know, everything I'll do. A little, little edgy, a little different. Absolutely. There's Nick. So Tough yes. little spare there for Nick. Total chaos right now. I love Big Cat's stash, though. I mean, I don't have a stash. I've got a decent afro when I grow it out, but I need to work on the stash game. Yeah, Big Cat, last week on Grit Week, he shaved everything but his mustache. But it looks like it's starting to grow back. I see that. A little bit more. Rocking his Stella Blue coffee shirt. And we're looking at our man Darian here. The sweepstakes winner. I bet my ninth frame's coming up soon. Oh, oh, there's a match down there on 31, yeah. too. Those Titus guys. told me to F off, basically. Yeah, Titus. He was locked in. Is it Eddie? Eddie, yes. Titus and Eddie, yeah. Eddie's got his own ball, Storm Ball. You know, my sponsor as well. And Great angle there. Oh, tough shot. So, one question I like to ask bowlers. We had Pete Weber on our Bolero stream in January is... How often do you convert a 7-10 split? I have made two in my life. And wow. I've been and you're the, you're the bowler of the year <laughs> yeah. two, two years yeah. ago. Yeah, the plan is to not leave that as the bowler of the year. Right. Uh, but I've made two. I actually made one on television, not on a PBA show, but it was a, uh, a different TV show I was on. And I made the split, uh, but twice out of 32 years of bowling pretty much. Yeah. It's insane. What it's do you impossible. think is – what are the probabilities on that compared to like a hole-in-one – or something very rare in sports. Ooh, I mean, I would say the hole in one is probably still more difficult. Yeah, just but not because not much more. Not, right? Probably not too much more difficult. Um, the seven ten, you know, obviously can happen out of luck if it just bounces out of the back because that's pretty much the only way to make it. Like I guess in a hole in one, you've actually got to kind of know what you're doing. It can't really bounce off a house and go into the hole, which will be my path to a hole in one. Uh, but I would definitely have to go with the hole in one. Seven ten is tough, but a three hundred game, perfect game, is probably even tougher. How many of those do you have? I've got a lot of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awesome. 
All right, so last question before we get you out of here, Kyle, because you have your big ninth frame coming up for our guy, Darian. Uh, who's your pick to win? Here's the bracket right here. We showed it earlier in the broadcast. Obviously, you have Darian on your side. Is he your pick, or do you like someone else maybe as a dark horse? I mean, I've got to you know, stick with my boy Darian just because I'm going to give him max performance in the ninth frame every game. Uh, you know, I know Carl's got a little bit of bowling. You mm -hmm. know, he's done some uh, footage on the PBA tour, but – Eddie walked in with his own ball. Yes, and it so, smells. It yeah. smells good. Hey, I don't know yeah, if he yeah, smelled it. storm product. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with Eddie if, for some reason, Derry and I have a hiccup. All right. Well, uh, Kyle, good luck out there, and thanks for joining us here. Thank you, sir. Hi, Pleasure. Bolero. Appreciate it. All right, moving right along here. If you're just joining us, all eight round of 16 matchups are going on simultaneously, and after that, we'll start to lock in on those individual matchups. Uh, now we welcome Kate and Chaps on his way to the broadcast booth. I don't know if we have a third headset or not, but for now, hello, Kate. Hello, it's hello, great Chaps. to be here. Happy to have you guys. Uh, I believe you've both officially made the move, right? We have. We both moved to Chicago within this last month. I've only been here a couple weeks, but I'm absolutely loving it. And I love bowling, so this is a good combo right here. Always been a huge bullhead, yeah. Yeah, totally huge bullhead. I want to say we're with Zero Block 30, the military podcast here. The last time I spent a ton of time in a bowling alley is when our barracks got banned from drinking. But there was a bowling alley right behind our barracks on the base, and we spent. Crushing tall boys. We basically like all got cents. real into bowling, so it's great to be at this Bolero today. How's everybody looking, Jake? So far, so good. I think there's a lot of pressure on Stephen Che, who you see right now, and I think he just got a nine, but he practiced last night. He's putting a target on his back. Rookie move letting people know you did that, yeah. first of all. I think he, the first thing he, th he did this morning was tell Big Cat that yep. he practiced. He should have known better. He should have known better. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Sydney Wells is crushing it right now. Yeah, I was I was surprised at how I shouldn't say surprised, but ki she's killing it. Absolutely. Why would you be surprised, Jeff? Well, she said she hasn't bowled in a long time. She mm. was talking that over there. I think to lower a little bit expectations. Okay. And there's she Kyle. Comes out and so this must be it. the ninth frame. He has to get a strike here. He's all the pressure in the world, and he Woo! gets it. Electric. I want that outfit bad. Yeah, Brandon versus Chief. I, I don't, they might be done. I don't know. They're both sitting around. <laughs> Joining Those are joining <laughs> high noon. Two athletic builds right there. Yes. Two bumps on a log. So I believe the plan after this round is for you guys to go out in, onto the lanes. And, and really mix it up with everyone. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'm a little surprised at Carl's form. It's unorthodox. Have you seen it? I have not. He does no. a little under, kind of throwing it sideways. I've never seen that form before. Yeah. Who's your guy's dream championship matchup looking at the bracket? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I think it's two people. I think Brandon Walker and White Sox Dave would be a good combo at the end. Okay, that is possible, yes. All right, okay. so we just got word that everyone is going to stop except Brandon and White Sox Dave. Or excuse me, Brandon and Chief. I don't know what the score is. Can we get a score Let's update? See. Don't know what the stakes are. They must be doing surprisingly but it must, well. There it is. All right. Don't know what frame it is. <laughs> Chief leads by 14 Oof. over Brandon. Well, Brandon is reeling right now as it was revealed on the Yak. More details about his car accident. Yes. Have you heard the latest on I that? I have not, no. His car was fine, and he was able to drive it home afterwards. So. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes, that's breaking news. Uh <laughs> He was okay, and the paramedic that pulled him out of the car was an off-duty paramedic who just happened to be driving by. So more details emerge about that on the yak, and, and the man is spiraling right now. So he was upset about doing some twisties in the car? Is that essentially what happened? He said he was more nervous, I think. The mental thing was about it coming out on the yak today than the actual experience of the car crash, the details. But it's a solid way to get, like, five days of free days off whenever yeah. you're hanging out with your mom. It was also revealed that the vehicle was a Tahoe, so one of the safest vehicles you could possibly <laughs> yeah. slide out in. I can okay. see why he was so nervous. Yeah. That's a tough time for Brandon Walker. Anyways, <laughs> yes. back to bowling. I just wanted to – I didn't want to be the one to say that. Yeah. But I think White Sox Dave is under the impression you just have to throw it as hard as you absolutely can. Yes, it is not a speed contest. Uh, you see Dante right now. The first round matchups must be finishing up soon. Again, I'm, I'm sorry. We have no idea who's winning yeah, we what. We have no idea. No, that's okay. <laughs> or what frame they're in or who's doing well and who's doing poorly. So we're poorly. just trying to fill time right here. But we can see really well through the really bright lights. 
so that helps. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, two at a time. That's bad etiquette. Oof. Jake, and that's frowned upon. Two people I believe it is, back yes. Back. Yeah. I will that's say, uh, everyone is saying that Darian, he's the wild card who made it into this tournament yes. from winning another tournament. He won the Barstool Bolero sweepstakes. So I'm going to assume he's just going to crush everyone and no one here I don't know if it was a bowling competition sweepstakes or if it was just like a random draw. Oh, if it was a random draw, <laughs> yeah. then people have a chance. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, he says he... T I talked to him before. They said he bowls four times a year. That's probably more than... I guess a lot of us. A lot of us. Eddie has a very interesting form, too. He played in a league a couple years ago, and he says that he goes with the back flip, like a little flick of the wrist, and it goes super slow, okay. but it's working for him. All right. You see Stephen Che and Sidney Wells right now. I think we're going to lock in on this matchup. Can we get a score update on this one? It must be close if we're... Going to focus on this matchup. Again, Stephen Che, the only one who practiced before this tournament last night. And Sidney Wells, the only person at Barstool who has proven to have actual aim. <laughs> True. <laughs> Big hunter. Yes. All right, do we have a score update on Stephen versus Sidney? White Sox Dave. A lot of people thought White Sox Dave would be good at bowling because he seems to have a bowling aura about him. He does. <laughs> Not to stereotype. I can't give us an update on the score. I can see one Big Cat and Hank. Big Cat is currently up. It looks like 152 to 85. Oh. Hank's gone in the last frame. He got nine on his first throw right, in the so that's last frame. Safe to say that one's over, and Big Cat will be advancing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It looks like it actually might be over because Big Cat got a strike in the last frame. He wins 85 to 152 is the final Almost score Almost doubled up there. Yeah, not great for Hank. The yeah. whole arena is now focused on Stephen Che. Oh. Oh, he thought he got the spare. I yeah, think he started celebrating got a too early. Hockey, yeah. <laughs> Should have practiced that one last so night. So this is Big Cat's final frame. He already locked it up. But we have no idea who is winning the other matchups. We apologize. We'll get that info it for does. you as soon as we have it. I kind of like not knowing who's winning because <laughs> now everybody can win in our hearts. Oh, oh. huge celebration Cindy's celebrating. Cindy. She, yeah, if she, she pulls off this win yeah. against Steven... I don't mm -hmm. think he's going to hear the end of it for quite That's some time. That's one that he practiced. He got. He should have kept that one in his back pocket. Shouldn't have let everybody know. Yeah. That's something you got to keep quiet. But I'll say what everyone's thinking. Steven getting beaten by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Please. Ooh. <laughs> Can we get our goes. camera to maybe okay, go up on the scoreboard? So we have... Oh, oh my God! Yes. Like Stephen I said, Che I think going down. Lose, guys. Ah. Based off the body language of everyone, I think he might be out. Yeah, it looks like he's out. Yep. Like I said, the only person oh. with proven aim. Oh, wow. wow. <gasps> she has yeah, one more she, roll, though. Gets, this is her 10th. She gets one, one thing for the tie, two for the win, I believe. Okay, just can't go in the gutter. All she has to do... And there and it is. There she goes. I think she's going to beat him by like 20, right? If that's yeah, because you get the down. extra rollover pins. Stephen Che has been what? defeated by Sidney Wells. Is Megan it updated yet? Yeah. Wow. Can we get a final score there? I think the first round is complete, and that yeah. would complete it with a big time. I guess we could say upset just based off of what we know. All right, so we just got the update going into the round, the quarterfinals. We got Big Cat versus Megan in, in the first one. We got White Sox Dave versus Sydney. Then we're going to follow that up by Chief versus Carl. Little bad blood Ooh. there. Oh. That one might be exposed. Uh -oh. Then in the final Sheesh. matchup, we got KB versus Titus, which is a battle of gentlemen, I'd say. A truly a battle of gentlemen. KB's been on a, he's on his third protocol now, his third fitness protocol that he created himself. Been spending he a lot of time in the sauna. Right now. He is jacked, so I'm interested to see. But I think Chief and Carl is the one to watch here, not to be petty. Yeah, Absolutely. going to be a good one. Yeah. yeah. Carl's bowling right now. I don't know if this is a warm-up. I, I think we're resetting before the quarterfinals begin, but we're, we're trying to figure out all the details here. But, yes, Chief versus Carl, obviously a well-documented history between the two of them, and I think that's what the fans are going to have their eyes mm -hmm. on here in the oh quarters. yeah. This feels almost like the bowling version of Rough and Rowdy, mm. which will be on Friday, by the way. Yes, well, next, oh. next Friday. Next Friday, yeah. Yes. I also want to say, who ca do we know who came up with the order the of bracket? the bracket? I'm not sure. I don't know if it was random. I don't know if it was because made I'd to set up storylines. or. I'd heard Big Cat kind of bragging bracket. that he had set up his side 
to be a little bit Ooh. easier than the other side. And so I have to hope that Megan puts them yeah. back to reality. Yeah, a little disappointing that Mincy didn't have his full Cinderella Cumbra backstory where he gets brought gets brought back yesterday and now he doesn't win the tournament. It would have been a, just yeah. a beautiful moment. But I think Mincy's just happy to be here. Yep, I think he's just like After a what's gone. What a roller coaster of a <laughs> summer for him. My <laughs> God. <Absolutely. laughs> yep. So we're waiting to begin play on the quarterfinals here at the Barstool Bolero Invitational finale. Again, use code Barstool uh, Bolero.com. 15% off your next reservation. Valid through August 31st. There is the matchup mm. result. Yeah, so Big Cat absolutely dominated Hank. Yes. Hank Ooh. had Mincy had the worst forum of anyone here. No surprise. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's because he has no butt. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say it. And Mincy with a 59 <laughs> yeah. in his first round matchup. Yep. Uh, but Hank had the second worst form, which I was kind of surprised by. Is Hank an athlete, a known athlete, or no? He's not known for I think in certain sports, yes. Well, that, and there's the, there you have it, the close one. Wow. Sydney edges out Stephen Chase. She had two strikes in the 10th frame to Damn. beat him. Shouldn't have let people, Love shouldn't have practiced. Shot. Yeah. White Sox Dave beats Nick with just 73. See, I thought Nick would be better. I think a West Virginia guy, you would think he'd be better at bowling. Yep, yeah. and he was sneaky great at roof ball. He was By the really way, th good. This is what so. everyone is playing for, the Barstool Bolero Invitational Trophy. Wow. This is a big Oops. piece of hardware. That'll hold a Let's lot see. of high noon. Yes. Oh, shoot. Hell yeah, this is a beaut. Yeah, so the winner is going home with that. We're down to our final eight. Okay. It's like the Stanley Cup. Chief beats Brandon by 40. 136 to 96. I bet Brandon's spinning after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> really hydroplaned oh, mentally our, right off. Mm -hmm. Our sweepstakes winner, Darian, is eliminated. No. Ooh. He so came it, up here it, from Atlanta. So Kyle <laughs> Truth. <laughs> kind of dirty to put him against Carl because I think Carl is the odds on favorite. Probably should have been the number one seed because he's well, the, the guy KB, a 156. Bold. That's really Whoa. impressive. He might be the dark horse. Like so I that, said, that puts protocol. Carl, KB, and Big Cat as the favorites going forward, right? Got to be. Titus with a 158. We've got some uh, good bowlers yeah, in this we competition. Do. Titus said that he used to be in a league as well, and he has his own ball but didn't bring it, so I think he's kind of being a little bit of a ringer. Mm. All right, so the first round is in the books. Our field has been cut in half from 16 to 8. We'll have the quarterfinals <laughs> in a moment, but first a word from Stella Blue Coffee. For far too long, Big Coffee has monopolized and exploited our mornings. Because why? Because they want to keep you bored. They want to make you feel caged in and blind to their repetitive, tasteless routine. You can continue to be controlled by big coffee, sleepwalking from meeting to meeting, or you could choose Stella Blue Coffee. Take back your morning. Take back your taste. Take back your life. And if you don't want to do it for me, do it for the dogs. Your Honor, I rest my case. Guilty! Guilty! For the dogs with guilty! All right, welcome back to the Barstool Bolero Invitational Finale. The round of 16 is in the books, and we're getting ready for quarterfinal action. I'm Jake Marsh, now joined in the booth with my longtime broadcast partner, Nick, and Brandon Walker. Hello. Gentlemen, both booted in the first round. What went wrong for each of you? Chief was better than me at bowling. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happened to Nick, but Chief rolled 10 times, and all 10 times added up to more than my 10 times. Okay, fair. Yeah, for me, I just wanted to get here in the booth with you, Jake. Um, and then, uh, not a sore loser, but I did take White Sox Dave's shoes, and they are now in the claw machine. The claw machine. He that. does, does not have a clue. That. No, I put his so shoes. Is, oh, you mean his regular his shoes? His regular shoes are in the claw machine. So once he gets eliminated, he will not know he, where his I, shoes are. I have a bunch of ones for him, and he has to win those back. He likes winning so much, he can do it some more. Those could be a prize for anybody, though. That's right. White anybody Sox that wears a size four and a half <laughs> men's can get those. Yes. All Sean right. Rico's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, if it's possible, could we get the bracket full screen back mm -hmm. up and break down some of the matchups we really have like in the quarterfinals? Here it is. All right. Oh. You're looking right now. Oh, yeah. Big Cat versus Megan, Sydney versus White Sox Dave, Chief and Carl and KB and Titus. Uh, Brandon, what matchup in the quarters is standing out to you the most? Well, I think Chief and Carl, longtime best friends, mm -hmm. uh, looks good to me. I think they, they rode here together, and uh, I can't wait to see that one. Nick, how about you? Break down these quarters. Oh, man. these Break down these quarters. Uh, KB, who has not bowled in five I think he broke 150 in he, the first he bowled round. a 157. Um, he's up against Titus. Titus, I mean, two D1 athletes going yep. going at it. Uh, that'll be one to watch. I think Titus is going to take it, though. because I think Titus KB, bowled a 158. KB's just going to get bored. Yeah. What do you guys make of Sydney beating Stephen Che, who practiced Delightful. last night? Oh, she wonderful. got two strikes in the tent to come back oh, and beat it was, him. It was Have amazing. you ever done heroin? No. Okay, it is a lot like heroin, Jake. <laughs> Watching Sydney. Watching beat. Che lose is a lot like heroin. He practiced last night. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, fired. and then he just lost to a girl. <laughs> to a girl. <laughs> to a freaking girl. Yeah. Oh. Uh, how excited are you guys to see Ben Mintz back in the mix? He lost Not to really Megan. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Not really at all. Uh, he's currently stuck in the ball return. That's the <laughs> delay. He, uh, he thought he saw an Oreo cookie at the end of the lanes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, he, he scrambled down there, and he is now stuck in the ball return. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I think we're just waiting to resume action. I believe the we're waiting for cameras to get in place. I believe the plan is now to do one match at a time, so there's less chaos. Because I don't know what, what the perspective was from you guys, but eight matchups at a time was pure a lot. chaos. <laughs> yeah. Pure chaos out there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get the screen time I deserved, Jake. Are we worried about the White Sox Dave Sydney matchup? I feel like this should White Sox Dave should be put on a list of some sort for being <laughs> in this matchup. I don't know what. I, I, what do, what are you expecting from that? Embarrassment from one of them. Pure embarrassment. Yeah. All right. So you're looking at the quarterfinals right now. So we're going to lead off with the top top half of this bracket. Are we doing one matchup at a time or two? Two matchups at a time. You're so in charge, Holy Big Cat, fucking shit. Big Cat and Megan, and then Sydney and White Sox save will go. At the same damn time? <laughs> at the same time. Golly. Uh, so, without further ado, I think we can send it back out to lanes 24 and 25. Somebody Big Cat bowl. versus Megan. Sydney versus White Sox, Dave. We're waiting for these cameras to get set. We're looking at Hank and Megan. Big Cat preparing for his quarterfinal matchup. Watching film on his phone. Yes. Studiously getting ready. Definitely the as case. As my calf muscles shine in the background. Dave beat me like 67 to 57. Yeah, He's going <laughs> to be destroyed. Yeah. I think you weren't the lowest. <laughs> what was that? Duel. It was a pitcher's duel. No, it was I'm, a defensive battle. I believe Mincy threw a 56 <laughs> yeah, at, the, at the boys, Mincy right? Mincy was in the 50s. <laughs> what is that? I can't really make a joke. I got to right. 96. So let's send it out to the lanes. Big Cat versus Megan. Zero. And Sydney versus White Sox Dave. So are we are still talking? Two of, yeah, we're going to talk, yeah, talk while yeah, it's yeah. fun. You want right. to hear White Sox <laughs> Dave talk? <laughs> yeah, I actually would have, like to have him yeah, mic'd he's, up. Yeah, he will say something Would wrong. you watch White Sox Dave mic'd up for 24 hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I would watch that too. Learn some new slurs. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> no, you know them all, like the back of your hand. That's what you hit the people with. <laughs> That's what you hit minorities with, the back of your hand and saliva. All right, so we have a score graphic, so now you at home will be more in the mix, in, in, the, in the loop on what's going on. So Big Cat and Megan, Sydney and Dave, two of our four quarterfinal matchups. Mm -hmm. Big Cat almost doubled up Hank in the first round. Megan destroyed Ben Mintz. Destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. Uh, big Cat getting mic'd up, then we'll get underway is, is here. Is the max score necessary on the graphic? I think so, so All you right. know what's still possible. If someone's down 50, but they can sure. strike. Okay. Yeah, but I think way. I think everybody knows the but max the score off the get. Yes, but after, I, I don't know if, if our truck has some we sort of calculator right. that can determine what the future max score is. we have a truck? Are. I love that he thought the calculator was some we sort of future <laughs> tech. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, some sort of, it's on every phone, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Stephen Che with carries around an abacus. <laughs> with the way that scoring works in bowling. Looks like we're off. We're off and running. Yeah, over here, here comes Big Cat, and the quarterfinals are underway. It's a nine. Fuck. It's a nine. Or is that an eight? I can't tell. If we can't tell. Nine, Jake. If only we had some sort of fucking calculator, <laughs> man. Figure out this equation. <laughs> so are we going one matchup at a time? Um, the second one hasn't started. No, I'm excited to be here until 10 p.m. I think we are going Dave, one match at a time. Dave is just trying to figure out the, okay. uh, the screen. 
Yes, so we are going one at a time. So it's Big <laughs> Cat versus doing. Megan in this first matchup. And Big Fuck. Cat misses the opportunity for the opening We're waiting spare. on White Sox Day to enter the initials WSD. <laughs> Could be days. Sorry. Sorry, we'll <laughs> yeah, he spelled it wrong. <laughs> All right, so Big Cat versus Who's Megan. Who's WDS? <laughs> Uh, who are you guys taking in this first matchup? I don't know, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoever. <laughs> oh, she's feeling uh, pressure, boys. I am. I am. A gutter ball. I don't think Megan expected to be here. With a bigger ball. Well, she, she got a friendly Mincy. draw. She got a friendly draw in round one. Yeah. Friendly draw. I'm sure the perverts in chat are happy. <laughs> Trying to get on the board here. He's got some. Right. It's a seven first or one, eight. You got to get the first one of the belt. One, nice one. A lot of pressure. Okay. Oh, oh, White Sox Dave is going. All right. He's just clearing it. He's clearing it. Oh, he's clearing it. He's not going. All right. Uh, so we're okay. going to do one matchup at a time. So Big Cat up to the plate again. Lot Big, I really do think White Sox Dave is delayed right now because of the screen <laughs> issues. Uh, you think I'm joking, but that's <laughs> what's at play here. There's far too many characters on the keyboard for him. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't even have the least amount of characters right. in this yeah, competition. Go. KB with go. two. <laughs> He's trying to text shot? to speech it. <laughs> no. No? Okay. Oh, they are starting. Okay. Are okay. you sure? So we're going to alternate. So they're going right. to do a frame, and they're going to do a frame. Got it. All right. So 9-8, Big Cat, Megan. Here's White Sox. It's a strong ah. roll. Oh, poor. That's Brutal. A, a few. <laughs> we're working on the cameras to get a better look at the pins. Thank you for bearing with us. We didn't think to put a camera on the pins. I don't think so. Okay. I think they're working on that. Our hardworking crew behind the scenes is doing a great job. Brandon, you can't throw them under the bus. I like didn't. That. Nah, fuck the crew. <laughs> hardworking. How? How? <laughs> that's all fucking day that's been. Great velocity. It's been happening all day. All right, here's Sydney Wells who had. The most impressive performance in the first round, eliminating Stephen Che. Electric. What an electric the moment that was. Yes. It was bananas, Brandon. I will tell you that. But right now, what are we even doing here? <laughs> I think we're waiting for Sydney to go, or is it Dave up? I'm going to borrow your eight. They do appear to not know what bowling is at this point. <laughs> Which is shocking, because they just bowled an entire 10-frame round. All right, here's Sydney. That's an eight. Now, Jake, you'll notice these, these house balls yeah. have four Dude, holes. Some of them, yeah. That's right. So potentially you could put your three fingers in and then your cock. I don't think – I wasn't like a pitcher. You think about that, Jake. It's a, it's a good point. You could, would, you could technically. You could, yes. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Shoot. I mean, that was a strike if – Quick damn it from ends. Sydney. I know. That's that's how I'm gonna win. All right, big cat on lane 24, I, starting off. I think I think Dave just said <laughs> strikes are how I'm gonna win. Bang! So Dave, strike be by ready. big cat. Yeah. Be ready as soon as this is really plate. loud. I don't know if you guys. Oh, this lane sucks. You guys go. I'm trying to be fast for you guys. Lauren, this lane sucks. But they got to do master. our pins by hand over here. It just got very loud. Tech guy Andrew stepping in, fixing the over Great at his job, dog shit Ugh. personality. Terrible person. Oh, I hate him. It's very, hey, Andrew. It's very loud. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I we'll forgot he was the there. Let, let them go. Let them go. finish theirs. The question does have to be asked, Jake. Did Big Cat cook the bracket to his I don't advantage? Know. I, I can't comment on that. I don't know. Yes. Oh, okay. it's yeah? official. Yeah. Okay. Big Cat created the bracket. Thank you. A spare for White Sox, Dave. It seems like he's taking this very seriously, guys. Big Cat or White Sox, White Dave? Sox Dave? Yeah, well, I would expect nothing less. The entire world is serious to White Sox, Dave. All right, then we'll just stop at nine yeah. again. So, okay, all right. So go. Can they get us both? Wouldn't you like to see it through his eyes one time? Uh, see what? What? <laughs> the world. I think I would just get stuck jingling keys in front of my <laughs> face, Brandon. <laughs> uh. Right. They're gonna yeah. go at the same time. They're gonna go at the same, same time. All right. There we go. Speed it up a little bit here. There we go. White Sox stay with his follow-up. Oh, he fell. He fell, Jake. Oh, White no, Sox, he Jake. slipped. Gift one. Test, test. Jake too busy frittering with his Almost. buttons to see the know. obvious flip. I can't hear myself. 
Side swan too. That's what he said. Fuck! Strong nine by Big Cat. Awful rebound. Test one, two, test, test. test Dave one, is flustered. Now, Nick, test, what do you think happened to Sydney Wells' pants? Yeah, it's better now. It's what better do you mean? Now. What do you they mean? They look yeah. all torn a flutter. Yeah, I, don't I know think you pants, confused Megan with Sydney Wells. No, that one. Those are shorts. Yeah, but they're <laughs> torn up. Oh, hers are too. Where's that? Oh, shit, that? they are. They're both blonde. There's a strike. Yeah. Not oh, a strike. She called her shot. This isn't the libs in Hollywood. There's just a couple of Casey's over there. Brandon, how would you describe the people in That's Hollywood on strike? Well, One word. Joking. Writers. One. <laughs> what the heck? Jake, cover that? your ears. <laughs> <laughs> White Sox Dave getting in his position. Yeah! Oh, big time. <laughs> Emotion. She's just fucking hitting splits and everything. I don't know. <laughs> Bad. Switching balls. He's an angry little man, isn't he? Oh, my He's goodness, very yeah. Angry. I need to throw harder, though. What's that? Oh, I up to a 12 pound, too. So I'm glad uh, Big Cat just admitted that he created the bracket to benefit him. He admitted it. He came clean. Yeah, he enthusiastically admitted it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but in your position, in his position, wouldn't you? It's all about velocity. I would certainly I choose to my advantage. Well, the harder the pins get hit, the more. It's just science. It's that nice. was big. It's gonna be hard to keep up with that. That was big. That was big. Get that over. Big cat and Megan trading spares. I know I am. I was just trying to be uh, the straight man for a little bit. It's hard for me. <laughs> yeah. You stick with making me uncomfortable. I'm going. Nah, uh, yeah, my hand is on your thigh. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. That's a bad round, Sydney Wells. Mm. I'm getting the bandaid off. You're going to pay for that one, City Wells. White Sox Dave so talking good. smack. Okay, great. It's a tight matchup. Can they see the pins? Oh, okay, fuck. great. Thank you. Just by an inch. Somebody must have just tickled the cameraman. <laughs> All, right. Oh, I'm up. All right. All right. Is that Fasoli? Yeah. <laughs> I think Ben Mintz is lost. <laughs> what are you doing over here, man? Just wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> He was following the Bad. scent lines from a pie in a windowsill. What size are you? I know where you can win some 12s. Ew. Oh. <laughs> well, do you, we have to get a camera on White Sox Dave when he How realizes that his is? shoes are gone. Hold on. I think he responded. Uh, he responded to the tweet, I'm oh, not sure oh, if they're his shoes. Oh. <laughs> is there a chance of right. the Vince's right. shoes? I was looking for ben that was shoes. Uh, could, oh, <laughs> oh, wait, I think I took Mince's shoes. I thought they were Dave's. Wait. <laughs> I have a question. Wait a minute. Is Mincy looking for his shoes? Yeah, he's looking for his shoes. All right, don't say anything. Make him wear those. How home. did you get his shoes in the claw machine? Man, I, uh, don't worry about that. I kind of reached in and tossed them up. But uh, I think Mincy's, I think I accidentally took Mincy's shoes. <laughs> Welcome back, Ben. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Does anyone out there on the lanes know about this prank? Can right we get the uh, shoes back? Uh, White Sox Dave, oh, what no. what color shoes did you wear oh. in today? White. Ben. Oh, fuck. Ben. Were they Ben's? They're Ben's? <laughs> I think they're Mincy's. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. So Ben Mince is looking loose for now. the shoes. Oh, man. I went from a prank to bullying. <laughs> His nice first job. day back, too. <laughs> Keep leaving these ones. It's like in baseball, they make the rookie yeah. pitchers wear those, like, princess backpacks. Right? I am <laughs> just a little hazing for the boys. Horrible <laughs> fucking shot. Oh, White Sox, they're not happy with themselves. He's probably just flustered because he has to find White. somebody that will have to retie them for him. <laughs> no! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> that was bad. Now it's my that time. That was bad, folks. So Mince is still That's looking for his shoes. That was bad. Just pass somebody to the claw machine yeah. just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, somebody give him a bag of quarters. I need help. This, this bowling oh, center it. isn't open to the public right now. Could you imagine someone just walks in, goes to the arcade, and wins, wins a pair? Yeah, wins yeah. a pair. Yeah. Of I could imagine that. It's <laughs> wonderful. Somebody was like, I might reach up the score. Yeah. I didn't think so. Okay, I didn't think so. I know. Okay. I know. Wait, it's still not. 
This uh, Sydney White Sox Day matchup okay. is it's intense. Really terrible so far. Yeah, but it's close. It's like a it's close, but they're both awful. It's like a nine-six Big Ten football game. You can't help but watch. Ah, losing steam. <sighs> Meanwhile, Big Cat cruising to the court, the semifinals. He's up by thirty-four. They have them all. Yeah, I think we're good. Go down. You bring your own ball. What the <laughs> so Megan needs to be perfect down the stretch here to have a chance. I don't have a chance, Jake. Ah, uh, she can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Oh, that's Beautiful. sick. That is so Ooh. sick. I gotta be perfect, supposedly. Be perfect. What do we got? You're up three. Jay, I don't know. You, you like did something to me. Can't beat a day at the lanes well, with the boys, can you? Oh, you can't beat it. You can't I'm fucking beat good. it. But I'm not playing good. I don't know. What do you guys think White Sox Dave is gonna do if he loses? I know. Uh, I'll probably go home and masturbate vigorously. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, probably. But that was also what he's gonna do if he wins. That's a <laughs> celebration and his morning. And again, people in the chat are saying you need a heavier ball. I, I but my arm's going to be like a noodle. Okay, I'm just trying to help. I know, I had the eight, and then I think Sydney stole it back from There's me. There's a ten, too. I don't know if I can handle a ten. How many fucking nine, oh, hole, nine pin rounds am I going to have today? We're all openly rooting yeah, for Sydney to be White Sox Dave, yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay, good. I'll do you. There might be another oh, one. Oh, that was bad. That was, was bad. Was Big Cat joins Trent in the crew that broke 100. Stop. Big Cat at 102 through 7. Look at that. All right. But, yes, this White Sox Dave Sydney matchup. I have one, Sydney. It's yeah, coming down to the wire. White uh, Sydney with a 50 through 6 frames. Yes, she's right in this. Right in it. That's a big round Lucky for me. Breaks all day. Now, White Sox right. Dave is I'm using talking, a 12 I'm pound ball. Uh, might ball be a too heavy for him, ball. but I don't know if his fingers know how to go inside of a what 10. What am I doing? Oh, bigger <laughs> ball. <laughs> bigger ball. Nice. There we go. Chat had your back. Chat did have my back. Thank you, Chat. Oh, man. Shout out to oh, chat. chat. Shout out to Chat. Shout out, Chat. Chat, why don't all you sound off? Who are you rooting for? Okay. Sydney or White Sox Dave? I don't know if TJ has okay. access to making a poll in these okay. chats. Oh, man. How about the other semifinals? We're waiting on Titus against KB, and we're waiting on... Uh, Chief and Carl. Chief and Carl, yes. Get your Chicago popcorn office ready. explodes. Yes. What frame do you think there will be a fucking fist fight? <laughs> Hopefully all ten. And, uh, <laughs> a thousand. Nine pin first... First round frame. Whatever. Going out this way every time now. Uh, Nick, someone in the chat yeah, says, "Put White Sox Dave's time. shoes in a different machine." <laughs> I don't even. I don't know what shoes he's. We Why were Mincy's shoes by me? I'm most likely. And also, he's not bear. playing, is he? He did play. Oh, okay, play. I thought he was kicked off. He got comfortable. <laughs> it looks like the chat is uh, rooting for Sydney. Oh man, that was the worst short. frame I shot all day, Fasoli. Fuck. I should have known they Split were Mincy's when it said Split left up. and right yeah. written on them. <laughs> White Sox Dave takes the lead with two frames right, left. Jay, that helps. They both said left. <laughs> you could have beat me with a bigger ball. Unlock. I'm, I'm, I mean, I just I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh no, Dave. All right, this is one I should be able to pick up. Stay focused. Stay right. focused. I mean, this is a true. Pitcher's duel between Sydney and Dave. No. I wanted a kick. <laughs> I'm really going for trick shots. But why sock save himself Double in the claw machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I knew it. <laughs> I've had the wor I've lost it. Lost it at the worst time. Big cat in. Big cat likes beating little girls. Lost it. Lost it at the Whoa. worst time. How's that one? Dave lost, owns the company last now. Two frames lost it. I think I've run out. I've gassed out. <coughs> All right, but Big Cat's still in a good position. He's going to most likely move on to the semis. Oh, whoa. Oh. That. What do I do there? I think that has just to be a strike. 
That was a great shot coming. Yeah, I was up. By oh, did the ball get rejected? Did we do the frame? No. Probably the not. ball got rejected for big guy. It's coming back. I was going straight down. That was gonna be a spare. Our first ever rules incident here, Nick. All right. What what's what's Put the protocol the here? Right what do we okay. do? I really don't know. Feel it. <coughs> I don't know. Just go. Me? What? I mean, I'm gonna win anyway. Yeah. You, wait, hold on, Dave. I don't know. Meanwhile, look at this final yeah, frame. Anyway. Dave is up by two yeah, over yeah. Sydney. Yeah. Gonna win anyway. It's coming Let's down the start. wire. Gonna win anyway. Gonna win anyway. Dan. <laughs> Should we get all eyes on this Sydney Dave matchup? Oh, please go. That's our last one. frame. We're two points apart. Get a bigger ball. Shooter. Dave up by two. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if anyone's coming off a spare or strike You're for the up. scoring yeah. purposes. Right there, right there, I told. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going. Go ahead. Now, Jake, how many sports use the term strike? Baseball. Mm -hmm. Bowling. All right. Soccer, like a big shot. Sure. Uh. Combat sports? Yeah. Unbelievable. I was gonna say we're gonna have a rules problem. Yeah, I don't rules, three strikes. Pretty crazy, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Yep. All right. Like All right, Brandon, let's send it over to you. Big Cat moving on to the final four. Yes, Big Cat is going to the final four. I've been dispatched to interview you. Uh pretty easy game. Yeah, you know, uh I'm in the semis. I'm in the semis. How do you f say who made the bracket? I'm in the semis. That's all that matters. How do you feel about your game? You're not as good this time as you were last. Not great because the the fucking guardrails came down right as I was blowing my last shot. It was kind of like when a when a timeout's called in basketball, you shoot a three and a guy blocks it. The old Kevin Garnett. So th I I didn't get to see the last one go in. All right, back to you, Jake. All right, thank you, Brandon. Congrats, the big cut. I'm moving on. What's the situation here with Dave? I know he's up by. I guess he got a spare. Now he's getting his last roll. On the 10th frame. That's all you fucking get out of that? And he's not happy with himself. He's n and never is. He never <laughs> is. Bad game. Why would you be? All right, so let's see what Dave, his final score is. As Megan just completing her match. She's too far behind. Mm -hmm. All right, so... What is the total number for White Sox, Dave? I don't think that's correct. Like his body count? How many times has he fucked? <laughs> I don't know. Probably like seven or eight. So sweaty right now. Eighty-seven. Okay, He's not so double Sydney digits. That's why they call him White Sox, Dave. That's what he comes in. On the final frame to take down Dave. A huge roll here. Oh! So she needs a spare here to keep her hope alive. Come on, Sydney. Or else White Sox, Dave will move on to the final four with Big Cat. White Sox, Dave, you're going to advance with the 87? <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed. You just beat him. Don't take advice from him, Sydney. He's worse than you. Use your own head. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> White Sox, Dave, okay. locked what in. Do I gotta lose? It's not advice when it's from Che, it's I'm wisdom. Take the baby one? Or that baby thing? <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't know about this. Should Sydney. I think, I think I should go lighter because it was a bounce off the pin. Okay, Sydney needs a spare thing. to have a chance. Okay. You, Caitlin, can we clear Wait, if she, fully if she, so the old scores don't Oh, show she would up? have another shot. Looks a little Anything but a spare, and White Sox save advances. She needs it, oh! and she gets it. <laughs> wow. Sydney's still alive. So I believe that puts her at 81. I believe she needs a six to tie and a seven to win. It all comes down to this. Six to tie, seven to win for Sydney to move on to the final four. One bull. Nick, you think she's going to do it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Sit down, Dave. <laughs> Six to tie, right, seven Dave. to win. It all comes down to this. Ball game. For the win. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Shot of a lifetime. Shot of a lifetime <laughs> from Sydney Wells. Oh. And Brandon, you're with White Sox. Dave has just been That's eliminated. This is crazy. That very I bad. It was a bad bowling game. She was just. Bad. Yeah, I'm very That's sweaty. In a um, He's really sweaty. Uh, it was a bad. It was. I am very sweaty. We're both sweaty. Uh, it was honestly kind of bad bowling by both of us. And then at the very end, um, middle, he came in clutch, and I like just finished him off. I guess. I blame the bowling gods. If you look at the scores, I've had about nine uh, nines on the first roll of each round, each frame. Uh, I had to lead the league. And yeah. nines off I the want everybody to say it's I had ridiculous. a band aid on at the beginning. And I think it was slipping off. My All right, finger. Sydney, congratulations. Thank you. You're going to the next round. Dave, you lost to a girl. <laughs> Sydney's more manly than every dude in this company. Thank you, Dave. 
<laughs> oh, eloquent as ever, Dave. <laughs> All right, so if we want to take a look at the updated bracket once our graphics team assembles it, Big Cat and Sydney Wells. Nick, they are going to the final four. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a tough one. Uh, who do you got there, Jake? I don't know. I mean, Big Cat, as, as he mentioned, he put some cupcakes on his schedule early on, but Sydney's on fire right now. She took down Stephen Shea. She edged out White Sox Dave. But, Nick, I think now we should focus on the bottom half of the bracket. Chief mm -hmm. and Carl, folks at home are going to get their popcorn ready for that one. Yeah, I don't know uh, I don't know what to, to, to take from this. Uh, Chief just knocked out a guy that won a tournament, was super excited to be here, but no fucking mercy, no prisoners from uh, – oh, it was Carl that knocked him out. All right, out. let's send it down to Brandon. He's with Chief ahead of his quarterfinal matchup. All right, Brandon Walker here. Chief, you're facing Carl. You're the best of friends. What are you going to do? I, I, you know, he's the bowling guy, so I'm a big underdog here. I'm looking for maybe uh, 130, 140, which was enough to beat you. Hopefully that's enough to beat Carl. Are you guaranteeing victory? I can't guarantee. He's the bowling guy. Look at his ball. Look at his ball. Look at his ball. He's got a flower guarantee inside it, the ball. I'm not going to guarantee it. All right. All right. Thank you, Brandon. So that's one matchup. Then we have KB versus Titus. Nick, your guy KB, he was lethal in the first round. I think we have some uh, <laughs> some nice. non-copyright free music playing right now. So, Jake, we you can make YouTube. some. Unless, unless <laughs> fucking Bruce Springsteen's in the public domain. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a moment for more quarterfinal <laughs> right. matchups. But first, a word from Pardon My Cheese Steak. Pardon My Cheese Steak is a delivery and pickup only restaurant brand bringing you craveable cheese steaks and loaded fries. Go to pardonmycheesesteak.com to learn more and order now on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, or Grubhub. even say about those four legends oh i think I, from the tippy top all right welcome back to the barstool <laughs> bolero invitational finale said it better Jake last marsh time. nick mm -hmm. brandon walker uh if you're just joining us hello uh we are halfway through the quarterfinals big cat and sydney wells advancing but nick now we shift our focus to the bottom half of the bracket it's chief and carl and kb and titus wow Brandon, your thoughts on these two matchups? Clash of Titans. Wow, yeah. Wow. All right. Wow. You guys can begin. We are aware of the audio issues. We're working on it. Why would you say that? I don't know if they can hear you saying it. That's true. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> they give, can't hear you calling me <laughs> give a it some, moron either. Give it some ASL or something. <laughs> so, yeah, ch yes, Chief and Carl. Lane 24, KB and Titus in I, lane 25. I do wonder when it comes to KB and Titus, which one really wants to be here for three straight games? Those are two people that absolutely loathe their coworkers. Right. Both wanted to be out of here by now. Yes. Now, Brandon, you went to grab a ball earlier, and it, your thumb was in I'm Kate's belly too. button. <laughs> it was. Hear everything you said. Weird of you to do. <laughs> it was odd. Yeah, yeah. It was odd. Weird of you to do. I haven't seen the thumb since. Yeah. <laughs> Gobbled it right up. Kate is sitting right next to us. Yeah. In, in both seats. <laughs> that is an interesting form for Carl. A regular bowler. But it Big worked out there. to start. Huge. Wow. They the call camera. him the bowling guy for some reason. Yes. And he it's does have his own ball. Mark Titus. Jake, do you spare. have a bowling ball? So they gave me it's one harder. for the punishment we did in January, the so, hot dogs. Yes. Oh, they gave you but a bowling ball for a punishment. We're <laughs> fucking sick and twisted here, man. <laughs> um, but I believe I left it in the New York office. Ah. So it's out there somewhere. Simple yes would have sufficed, Jake. Well, I don't own one currently. I own it. It seems like you have ownership of that one. You just don't yeah, know where I, it is. Okay, that's fair. You're right. So Carl got off to a rocking start with a strike. Right yes. Right now. Do you think Carl and Chief are going to talk to each other? I don't. What's the status of the relationship? Hey, Do you guys know? I, I don't know. They didn't hug. I don't know how, yeah. Okay. Now, mind you, Carl does have a gun. Should we stop the game for the pr traditional hug? Is that a traditional bowling hug? We could. 
Maybe like if it's in 10th uh, frame, yeah. I'm out. Uh, uh, a hug. seventh frame hug. Yeah. Oh, honestly, if we seventh have a microfiber yeah. towel. True, if you yeah. got that microfiber. <laughs> All right. Carl's uh, gonna bowling's the, the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> Going for two in a row. Mm. Carl does appear to, appear to be very good at bowling, mm. but yes. is it worth the really embarrassing way he throws it? Right, I wasn't expecting that as a regular bowler. Now, other sports have groupies. Right. Uh, you know, hockey has puck, you know, um, football will have theirs, basketballs will sure. have that. But what do you call bowling groupies sneak other than there. overweight? Uh, Fuck yes! Good sneak! <laughs> Good sneak. Kate, what do you call yourself? Small <laughs> Jack. I wish I wasn't this way. Nick, tell the audience uh, I wish I wasn't this way. You're mic'd up, moron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like it, though. I mean, if I had a choice, I wouldn't change, but we are who we are. Comes with a lot Kyle looks good in pink. Over. He's been wearing so much pink A lot of pink? I don't know why. Is it the Barbie thing? Yeah, I think it's the Barbie movie. Mitz, look how confused Mitz is in the background, still can't find his shoes. <laughs> he has no idea. He has no idea. I gave him a bag of quarters, but he ate them all. Very <laughs> solid. All right, we're going to do some musical chairs here in the booth. Brandon, I believe well, you're getting the boot. Yes. Coming off a spare. Yeah, yeah, so Brandon is out, and we want to welcome on Megan Making Money. Well, that's who, a disappointment. Uh, <laughs> who just that's was eliminated in the quarterfinals. Megan, Hello. Hello. That was a tough matchup for you against Big Cat, Get but you there. did take down Mincy in round one. Well, that wasn't hard. Okay. I think he bowled like a 56 <laughs> or a 57. Yeah, something, something close wow. to his age. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> only, no. only kidding. No shots at Mincy. He just came back. Only at the first of the month. Yeah. Are you yeah. aware on the prank that Nick pulled? Do you know what's going on right now? Do you have his shoes? Fuck! <laughs> I thought they were I thought they were White Sox Daves, and I put them in the I put them in the claw machine. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, yeah, but I thought they were Dave's. What a, what a gross treat. Yeah, yeah. So some little kid, there's a birthday party going on. A uh, pair of uh, kids going to get a pair of very, very worn no, shoes. I mean, at, during a break, we have to live stream Mincy trying to win his shoes. He has to go and try to win those back. There are there are two tabs of acid hidden in the tongue. If that is any incentive for the kids at the birthday party to go open up their mind. Mincy will be going through the door. He just keeps walking into the glass. He's like a fly. So initially, his prank was to do it to White Sox Dave's shoes, but he mixed them up. Oh, well, it, I think it works better this way. <laughs> I think, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, where, where is he? Respond. Which, which one? Uh, ben Mintz. Ben Mintz. Ben Mintz. You can hear him before you see him. So <laughs> probably over there. Response, I heard oh, wait, I do oh. hear him. Yeah, yeah you hear him. Wait, I actually no do hear him. Got to clear, no gotta clear the head. I thought we were He's all like a fire truck. Pins. You know, I everyone pulls over to the side. Everybody, everybody stops. <laughs> yeah. So there's KB the versus Titus. Guys, both of our matchups right now are pretty close. Well, why is KB so ripped? Yeah, yeah, I think he's on a cycle. Probably. Unbelievable biceps. Brandon, you have an update on the, on the shoes? So I went to yeah, a little recon same. at the claw machine. 1,000% Ben Mintz's shoes. He's worn those for years. What are they? What kind of shoes? They're Nikes. They're old. They're dingy. They're Ben Mintz's. All right. I believe a stoolie gave them to him because they were tired of seeing him wear the same <laughs> shoes. <laughs> That's all Ben has right now. You do. I hope I hope no one is. Uh, He's just on Google Images search shoes. I hope no one's routing you out and telling Ben that his shoes, were the location of his shoes. I mean, all he would have to do is listen to the broadcast uh, for about three seconds. Uh, yeah. Or someone could tweet at him. Yeah. So hopefully no one does that. <laughs> but there's Ben shoes. Yeah, Stoli gave them to him, and I believe they are two sizes too large. I love that we stopped talking about the game, and it's been the best bowling there's been in the entire look day. This, look at all the X's on the board. This is the Ben Mintz effect, though. Look at that. I just want to know who, who he's Who do you think he's to? sexting right yeah. now? <laughs> you think it's his father talking about getting that watch taken out? It could, yeah, getting the links taken out. Taken out? <laughs> oh, Titus, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw what Titus just did. He turned around. He knew he had the strike, and he got it. Kind of like Steph Curry making a three. <laughs> All right, Megan, we're going to... You're going to switch, switch it up? We're going to rotate. Yes. Rotate, rotate. White Sox Dave. All right. Well, let's welcome White Sox Dave to the booth. Megan, thank you for on. joining us. Uh, White Sox Dave, welcome to the booth. Are you aware of what's thank going on? Thank you for having me. Jesus, uh, we didn't even say anything yet, man. Get in there. Welcome. I am. Thank you. Um, 
I saw the picture. I saw <laughs> the Jays. I'm like, tough. I think that's, that's a problem with these pickups. I can't tell what's going on, but those are Jordans. I, I would like Nick to win them in the claw machine for me. Yeah. Um, and even if they weren't my size, I could have just popped They are. Them. That's why I thought they were yours. I saw 11 and a half on the back of your shoes. Mm -hmm. Looked in those. They were 11s. I was like, okay, Dave is probably just trying to make people think he has a bigger dick. It's a big shot. And uh, I took those, big threw them in. Uh, How'd that work out? It didn't work out well for me. Didn't work out well yeah. for me at all. So how is uh, Minsa supposed to get those back? I don't think he knows they're missing. Oh, he, that, I mean, does he know anything that's going on in the present or no? Where is he? He, he was... I don't know. He's sitting on one of the benches. Uh, Dave, you lost in a heartbreaking fashion velocity. to Sydney in the quarterfinals. I quarter did. Finals. So I have seen Sydney operate under pressure hunting many really times. Yep. <laughs> she's got, like, Chris, like, you know that scene in The Departed where he's talking about, like, when he's under pressure and he's nervous, he's like, my brain's going a million miles an hour, but my hands are still. That's her. She's like Chris Kyle, just constantly calm, cool, and cr collected. And uh, it translates I've seen, I've to a bowl. I've seen you hunt for big game at the bar, college? though, Dave. I can't help it. Different kind what, of game, though. Okay. Different what kind of game. I'm trying to miss. All right. He played. All right. Positive over here? We are being positive. Yeah. He's being positive, yeah. Oh, I love I it. Yeah. Yeah. I said you got, band. like, you're nice, even keeled all the time. Are you surprised that I beat you? Uh, no, you should have, because neither of us uh, broke 100. We were both bad. You were just less bad. We were bad, bad. Yeah. Um, Brooklyn? How, how's everything going up here in the booth? It's going as smooth as ever, man. Have uh, either of you guys done anything to get canceled during a commercial break yet? Jake. Jake? Jake. What would you, you say? Did you make fun of uh, who, what, what uh, right, think, minority did you make fun of? Think of the worst one you know. Uh, okay, it's in my head. Say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I you actually, almost got me there. <laughs> if you it just blurted it out. <laughs> it was a good try. You know what? If, if Big Cat loses, um, loses in the semifinals, I'm afraid that if I say he loses, I might get suspended. Whoa. facts. Oh, he already told us over there off yeah. camera he put himself in the easiest bracket. Oh, no, he told us that, too. Okay, yeah, no so secret. he, like, now, some leader. Ooh. Now, Jake, you're the consummate professional. Credit to you. You were the most professional guy we work with. You and Brandon have beef, and you welcomed him into your booth without, we don't have beef. Talk about me. He's just an <laughs> asshole. I mean, everyone knows that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's a dick. That's not earth-shattering news. Jake, One of my Jake, favorite talk things. Talk about me. I'm doing, I'm doing good. Titus wants us to talk about him because he's doing well. He just got, got a strike in the seventh frame. Oh, man, he's mopping the floor with KB. Yeah, K yeah I think KB's bored. <laughs> we, got, we got a nice close game between two heated blood rivals okay, so Dave, and Chief You know more details than us on this. I do. I know all the, the details. Can you the status of their relationship? Uh, there is none. Uh, okay. Can we spill they the tea, or is that IP taken from us? Uh, no, that I mean it's all out there. Like we agreed to part ways one. and had a, this is a huge like a here. game plan on how to do so. Decorum was broke, so we told the truth, and that's all there is to it. So these two, I wonder what they're saying to each other, like when they're walking back to the benches. Do you think there's any contact? Any now again, they're mic conversation with each other. Uh, no, I think it's a lot of awkward, oh like God. make yeah, eye contact, shift away real quick. Um, probably a lot of that. Um, I would have a pre would have appreciated if uh, they were both a little more liquored up, because then they might have actually came to blows. You know, I am. Uh, Is there that much animosity between the two of them? I'm have you ever came to blows? A handful of beef. times. My man. Yeah, a handful of times. There's nothing better than just emasculating another guy by beating the shit out of him. Oh. <laughs> you get to stand okay. over him, and in that exact moment, we got a reset on eight. Oh, we got, we, we've got an issue, guys. We have an issue. What's the issue? Can we get it? Dave, you want to go interview them? Hold on, hold on. Get, get over there, Dave. Carl, What's going on? That. What's going on? Something happened. Dave, Something get in the mix. Happened. What's going on here? We, Break it down for me. The thing broke. It broke. It gave me two gutters. I never rolled. Okay, uh, I heard voices being raised. This one's a little juicier than that. I can't say that it is at the moment. Uh, no, I why? actually noticed. I actually noticed it. It was sportsmanship. Yeah. Sportsmanship. sportsmanship. We need to go back. We just got a clean reset on the eighth frame, guys. It's a bowling all right. alley. It's a fucking bowling alley. We're all consummate professionals in the bowling world. I'm um, sweating my balls off. I think yeah, Dave I'm just so learned yeah. consummate professionals from me. And Are you guys watching lane violations over there? Are you guys not fucking sleep at the wheel? All right. I actually we, we, have, Harold, we don't have a picture Kyle. of the lanes. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, there you go. City was committing lane violation Back. after lane violation. You know, for pride now. No big deal. All right, we're going to get an updated look at the scores. Titus is crushing KB, so he'll move on to the semifinals. Yeah, that ball game's over. We need uh, a couple of big balls out of Chief here. 
and Chief lately has had a big ball problem. Apparently, he keeps sitting on his nutsack. Keeps sitting on his nutsack. On his nutsack. When any time we go to record, he'll sit down and his thigh will crush his now, is that testicle a, is that a against big the ball? seat. Is that a big ball problem or a long ball problem? Long, well, long ball. Yes, that's the uh, scientific um, Very nice. verbiage Blue for that. He's got so long balls. Game, my first game of job. my life. All my fair. first job out of high school. Uh, in high school. Nothing much I worked at a bounce Pretty house that had a big slide. Here. First time I ever went down the slide, I jumped and I sat on my balls four times in a row. That bounce, bounce, sounds bounce, bounce. horrible. Did you, yes. do you got like prosthetics now? Or? A prosthetic balls? No, I still have my same mushed ones, dude. Do they work? Oh, oh, um, do you have I any faster children running around like not, New York City or West not Virginia? Not that I know of. Okay. All right, Carl and Chief are neck and neck, guys. It is a is seven anybody tried? Oh, sorry. pin game right now, but Chief is coming off of a spare. Fucking so missed it. Yeah, it was. Uh, all right, that opens the door. Ooh, that's that a big shot. That's a that shot for sport. My what? No, I'm sweaty. Sweaty. I'm sweating my balls off. But I wouldn't no. say I have nerves. I say. With respect to Chief and Carl, Carl bowls frequently. He loves bowling. He goes all the time. He's in all the intramural leagues, all that shit. Chief doesn't. I know that if he loses to Carl, it will eat him alive. Oh, fuck. Oh, Months on it. And what he are the max scores be. here? Chief max score 187. Carl 192. It's close. Uh, Chief needs. Uh, White Sox Dave, would you go on the floor and interview the potential winner of this one? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. All right, Thank so, so Chief much. with 126 through 9. Carl has the advantage right now, though, but Chief. Nope. Oh, no. That's a huge mistake. Chief, we talked about this all afternoon. Uh, you need to throw the ball as hard as you can. I've been, I've been throwing. My velocity's been up. Did I you tried to, I tried to paint a corner there. there. You threw it like Eddie would throw That's it. A, look at the board. Look at Dave. Were you under 100 last game? That I makes was. you a what? It makes you a what? Pussy. Right. You just threw it like a pussy right there. Please tell me I'm wrong. Oh! oh! That's Rejected defense. by the bar. Defense. Rejected right, by got, the bar. Uh, the that happened to me, too. It happened to Big Cat earlier. <laughs> Did someone hit the reset button? It's a near perfect ball. Here. Or did that happen by accident? After I, after I. But how do you, how do we reset it? I think it's reset now, but. No, because it gave him a nothing. It gave him a gutter. Listen, I don't I'm want here. this to be a reflection of Valero, guys. This is just a I'm competition that we're running on the wings here. The balls are hot. I was trying to play cool, uh, those are but uh, I just put up a 176, and I felt like I left a lot of time. He's good. So, uh, I, might, I might just yeah, walk around. We're, we're, on, we're under tournament conditions here. Quick fire. This would be like going to your local municipal. Yeah. All right, so Titus is moving on to the hey, That was board. very yeah. impressive. Look at the balance yeah. on that Playing. guy. Shout out to the Bolero employee the win for now. saving the ball. Thank, yeah, thanks. Can we get a... Yeah. I know. You that, you that win. That score no, we have to reset that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how... Okay. okay. Just to clear my mental reset. Uh, wait, how did you know Che was going to... By the name of Mr. Well, I didn't know Che was going to flop. I wanted to beat him. I knew it. What did you shoot him for? All right, so we're waiting on uh, the scoring issue to be fixed, but... You're just joining us. Three of our four final Bro, four are we live? Uh, spots <laughs> have been locked up. Big Cat, Sydney, and the ninth Titus. Are we live? Now, yeah, he's losing right now unless Carl are up a waiting to finalize this fourth and final spot. Get in there. Unless you have a Fuck yeah. yeah it's a big it's time strike. Huge strike. Carl. I can't help it. I don't want to react that way. I just do. It, it, Tell the audience. I'm just the way I am. Uh, Carl was relaying to me that he didn't Imagine want to react. You got those yeah, it's just, it's just, in your crosshairs. It, it just destroys you. So I think you Chief like, needs at least one strike here. It's. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Oh, it's KB pitching? No one cares. Yeah. But it hurts. It's called a huge strike. Oh, it went back down. You think people think it's a joke? I'm this crazy. I am this fucking crazy. I needed that fucking ball. Boys, I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Brandon. You missed a lot. Damn, you're locked in as hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see him out of my peripherals. I think it's the cameras. I think it's the cam I think it's the radiation from the cameras. Next so Tuesday like on the dog walk, camera radiation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cut the tension like with a knife here, Jake. Lane 24 is acting up. Yeah. Jake, when do you fully move yeah. to Chicago, my man? I'm here. You're here full time? Yes. How are you liking it? So far, so good. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? 
You're here. No, I'm in Wisconsin. Yeah, he's, right. he is he is in damn near in yeah. Canada. I'm in Racine. <laughs> what about you, Nick? I move here the 30th. All right. The 30th. That's at the end of the month, isn't it? Yeah, my first live appearance will we are be on the shut, first We just shut down. And oh, who's lost. this guy? <laughs> Who is that guy? Let's go. Oh. This guy going to work. Yeah. Who the fuck was that? Is that the pin setter? Drop from the sky. Is that what we're calling? Guy to fix this ball again. I don't know. We do this need guy to wants sure a picture with you, big cat. <laughs> He's our boy. Okay. That's, is that one of our boys? What's his name? Javi. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get a testimonial before he rolls three strikes. We're gonna keep right, the show yeah, rolling, guys. Right, we're in the middle of a plus. very intense match uh, between Chief very and Very intense. Okay. Tenth frame. And most companies would just move him over a lane and continue, but not us. Not us. We're gonna fix this one. Thirty-two beautiful lanes here at Bolero. I don't even know if Turkey will do it. All right. You keep pointing at something, Nick. Well, I mean, I did throw a bad ball. I've got a bad wrist. We're talking over him right now. Came in here with came in here with that came in here with a bad wrist that have been t telling anybody who will listen to me anybody uh, keeping friend friendship bracelets are keeping it fucking and obviously you know cheesesteak water cheesesteak water yeah clear the mind clear the Carl mind. has a nice it's shine a big to him fucking moment this is huge this is huge this is huge it's big this is what competition's all about. All right. Now, my first job you, was at a bounce house slash bowling alley slash golf course. You were on, J course. Where were you on really? JB that's, that's, Badminton? That's it, well, yes. Um, but what, what, uh, the pin what was the sport you thought you would give a try never to? Met one. My God, they're all born under cell towers, I'm not joking. No. They, <laughs> You've talked about that, though, right? They're an interesting breed. Okay, so I just wasn't making that up. That's like when you overhear something and you say it as it's if like it's your own thing. we might be close to I'm 10th frame, Carl, competition right now. It's a bad version of me. He needs a strike out, and I need a... But but listen, dude. I think I've been in too many of these even talk. Tenth frame. Focus. Like know my spots. <laughs> he locks in. Motherfucker, you. Now if they wanted to <laughs> tournament conditions, they'd make us alternate lanes so we couldn't get consistent to the same oil pattern and shot pattern. Type of. Yeah. So we're well, waiting when the baby on the comes along, and if he has questions, we're shooting. We we three should start know. a fucking podcast. We really should. <laughs> Let's it with me on it, it'd be canceled with quickness. <laughs> but boy, we, we'd have a good two months. We would have a good, good two months. We'll, we'll all be in the new office together. We should, we should figure it out. There. We should figure it out. What an interesting time for this to happen. It's so much intensity, so much drama. and they're all. It's kind of like the 2016 World Series Game it's 7. It's exactly like that, Jake. <laughs> It's the same thing. It is exactly like that. Or like when the lights went out at the Super Bowl, the yes. uh, Ravens and 49ers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or Way more white people. <laughs> Way more. <laughs> we don't have a Jacoby Jones. Bunch of flackos. Yeah. So a bunch of Matt Stovers running around. Big Cat did kneel at the anthem, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sydney. Staying loose for her final four matchup with Big Cat Those coming up soon. Those poor women don't know Dave's right behind them. <laughs> I've seen it a million times. <laughs> that beard, man. <laughs> so Titus officially moving on. A 176. Guys, that might be the highest number by anyone in this tournament so far. I think besting only Titus. Yeah. He's got the two highest, I believe. 158 in round one? Yep. Titus is apparently a machine. He is. But Real dickbag, though. He's a nice guy. Just an asshole. I met your dad, Jake. I heard. At, yeah. the, card, at the card show. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you, Lauren. Talking to our producer. A little behind the scenes there. Doing good. The only, the only person I'm worried about in this entire tournament right now is Sydney. Sydney is, is not only... All right, we we'll apologize. Pin issues. We apologize for the pin issues. Uh, we're going to preview a huge event coming here on the Barstool Sports platform coming next week. It's rough and rowdy. And uh, for those who don't know what rough and rowdy is, it's a boxing match. We should send mints to the claw machine. 20 fights, rough and rowdy, 22 with no headgear plus five round Main events for the first time ever. Dwarf title fight. 300-pound brawlers. West Virginia versus Pittsburgh matchups. That's your, that's your guys, Nick. That's Lights right. Out Lang versus Make It Happen rematch. And you have the option to view the pay-per-view on Rough and Rowdy YouTube channel for the first time ever. So oh. an additional platform to watch it. Buy rnr.com plus...
I think we're going to shift lanes due to the malfunctions at 24. That's at least 20 dicks. <laughs> 20 gay dicks. So appreciate you guys bearing with us. <laughs> we will be moving to lane 25 now. One uh, lane over. <laughs> Should be easy. Mm, the logistics in this are a bit <laughs> just too much. Just too much. Oh, it looks like we're off, though. Yes. Oh. I think he needs to spare this or else he's done. <laughs> yeah, that was not an that was an auspicious start. Auspicious or inauspicious? Hmm. Which Let's one say, works? I don't know what either means. <laughs> auspicious is favorable. So not the most auspicious start. Jake, thank you for binging that. <laughs> and I think that'll do it. That should do it. I think Carl's gonna advance to the semis. He's got the handshake. Off camera, of course. Yeah, and 141. The oh, there it is. A beautiful hug. Great sportsmanship. Beautiful moment. By Chief and Carl. Carl moving on. Chief going home. He's just going to complete it, though. He's up by one with a frame to spare. No pun intended. So. Chief this following old. a trail of tears. <laughs> History repeats itself. So he'll get to go again. So we can now officially Sharpie Carl. Into the final four. Guys, I'm excited for this Carl versus Titus semifinal matchup. Why? <laughs> because they're they're heavy hitters. Okay. <laughs> I don't Why know if else? they've ever interacted. You know what? They I think you won't might in be this right. game either. <laughs> I think you might be right. I don't think they've ever shared a word. Like Legolas and Frodo. <laughs> Never sure. had a line together in Lord of the Rings. Oh, Carl's going for a turkey, guys, on this 10th frame. Oh, a turkey. A turkey is when you score. I know three. what a turkey Not is, Jake. I'm explaining it to the viewers. We have 12,000 okay. people okay. watching. All right, all right, all right. Why don't we start? Well, let's explain what bowling is. <laughs> and a ball is a round shape. Three straight strikes equals a turkey. Can Carl finish off with that? Yes, he wow. can. A turkey for Carl. And he is wow. moving on to the final four with momentum. I believe that's your new high score as well. 192 for Carl with the turkey in the 10th frame. And if we can take a look at the updated bracket. The final four here at the Barstool Bolero Invitational is set. Big Cat versus Sydney, Carl versus Titus. Who's your guys' new pick to win? I got to go with Titus. I mean, he's he's been cruising so far. Um, yeah. Let me give give me fucking Titus too. The All new right. guy. We're he's both fresh. taking Titus. Yeah, I guess. So. I took Titus first. Okay. All right. Big Cat versus Sydney. What about you? Who are you taking? I'm play by play. I can't make a pick. No, yes, you can. No, <laughs> come on. I'll go with. Mm. Ah, come on, show some bias. You're acting like Len bias right now. <laughs> I'll go Sitting with. Sitting there dead. <laughs> Sitting there dead. <laughs> you know what? I'll go with Titus. All right, that's officially the favorite. So wait, <laughs> the booth just goes all Titus. All yeah. Titus. It's like college games. They take the screenshots in the Barstool College Football Show. Wow. They they take those screenshots. They use it as bulletin board material. Am I right? Bu yeah. And, the, and these guys are going to be pissed because they're listening <laughs> to every word we say. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if we're going to go one at a time or two at a time here. Big Cat versus Sydney, Carl versus Titus. Looks like they're starting to stir over there and get ready. Big Cat, oh, is Big sore. Cat has an announcement. All right, Big oh. Cat is sore. The whole body or just the arm? This final four matchup. Is that too, too long? Is the whole body sore or just the arm? Okay. All right, uh, before we begin the semifinals, oh. we want to remind you that we are here at the beautiful Bolero facility in Illinois. Enjoy bowling, food, drinks, and guaranteed lanes whenever you reserve online visit bolero.com using promo code barstool for 15 percent off your next reservation this offer is only valid through august 31st all right big cat sydney wells carl and titus let the final four begin was that official or are you just yelling? that was official okay yeah this has been a blast guys i love being in the booth with you boys me too. Jake, we should do this more, man. We're we living should. in the same city. 
I think we're, there's going to be more broadcasting opportunities for us moving forward with the new office. I want to roll reverse, though. You want to do play by play? I wow. want to do play by play, and I want you to be a real jackass. I, I don't oh. know if I have the jokes. I want in you me. to say you're, fuck. You're a natural at that. No, no, no. Carl, meanwhile, just started with a fourth straight strike. Wow. There's Sydney's hair. A seven for Titus. So Sydney, the Cinderella story of this tournament so far. That seems like profiling Jake. No. She beat Stephen Che when he practiced, and she beat White Sox Dave when she just had to survive in advance because that was an awful matchup. You guys looking for me? Yes. We're looking Chief. for you, Chief. We want to talk to you uh, coming off your tough, tight loss to Carl. Can you yeah. give us a little peek behind the curtain on what went out in between you two and where we're at right now? <laughs> I feel like it's been widely publicized and discussed. Mm -hmm. but yeah, an update, look, an update. I, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to win that. I'm not a bowling guy. Okay. Gave it my best effort, and I would probably have been a little less focused if it was somebody else. So I wanted to win. You wanted to win. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But Correct. You know. He's a bowling league guy. He's, he's a very good bowler. He's, he's a, a bowling very bowling good bowler. Guy. He's a very good bowler. So now I, now I have to practice. I have to be better than him in bowling. Not every competition is. It's not always the coolest thing to win. Totally. Right? So yeah. you're good. You, Not you all competitions are created equal. No, you're right. It's like a swallowing your tongue competition. Nobody wants yeah, to win I that. Would. That's a very specific example. But, yeah, I would I would have rather had my name right there. Okay. I, yeah, especially because it was next to his. Yeah, just put a line through that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it would have been nice. would have been nice to get one. So is this one of those scenarios where we're rooting for him to win so you can say you lost the champion, or do you want him out ASAP? I have mentally checked out from rooting for people. Titus is awesome. Maybe it'll – Man, yeah. Titus is new, though, too. Do we want Titus to win this You don't want a new thing? guy to yeah, win. Yeah, you don't want a new guy you to win. You don't want a new guy to win. And I feel like once we have the new office, we're going to have that basketball court. Oh, and He's yeah. going to be winning a lot of things. Yes, he will. So I don't like that either. So I guess I'm rooting for uh, Big Cat, my boss. Not because he's my boss, but just he's, he's Big Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. With, with, with the guys back at, in ownership of Barca, yes. we could be fired at any, any moment. second. That's <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. That's right. I am worried about that. Yeah. All right, Chief. Well, thanks for right, joining no us. No problem, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, go, uh, it. <laughs> go into hiding, I guess, man. <laughs> KB, why don't you come to the broadcast booth? Oh. KB, an impressive first round, but you just fell asleep relax, in the second. Relax. What happened? I don't know. It's all 50 50 with But how were you games. so good the first game? It's just like beer pong or darts. Oh, Mincy's still walking mash. around. Mincy, he he's still looking for his shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he not aware of what's going on? That's a, that no that could be a general question you could ask any day. I just talk to him in the bathroom. He's looking for his shoes. <laughs> he says he has misplaced his shoes in a vending machine before <laughs> on accident. <laughs> so I can't tell. Like totally uh -huh. like, he has. He's not even assuming a prank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Mincy just wearing shoe, bowling shoes in the office. <laughs> For the Mincy, what's going on, man? Yeah, he's, he's looking for him in the ceiling right now. He's, his <laughs> now, he chins. <laughs> now, he does have a confused look on his face, so maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> you know, so that's always uh, part of the yeah. course. Mincy, Mincy what's going on? Uh, Mince, let's get you up here. How and Sam Hill. What's going on? What, what's, what's the deal? We don't know what's going on. You look confused. Here, come, ba come back behind the booth so the camera can. I am very confused. About what? You don't hear it. You don't, you don't what? I don't know where my shoes are. Your sh fucking shoes? My shoes, man. I don't know. So I guess I'm going to wear bowling shoes all day. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you have to. They've Better be go somewhere. barefooted. Yeah, here, step in a little bit more. Uh, now, have you, you ever have lost your shoes before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that story? I, I mean, <laughs> I feel like I, I lose stuff just perpetually. It's just a day-to-day. -day. Like, there's, like, a real struggle for... Like, common sense stuff I do really bad at. Like, no sense of direction, lose stuff. But then I'm, like, really good with numbers. And, you know, there's, like, it's a very, I don't know. It's a very weird. Like counting dynamic. toothpicks on the ground? Yeah, but, I mean, it's, yeah. like, it's very weird. It doesn't make sense. But simple tasks for most people are, I find, more difficult. So every time you take off your shoes, you're aware it's, there's a chance you never see them again. Well, around all of you, yes, there's definitely a chance to never see them again. Because, I mean, who knows? But. You know, whatever you do, you're supposed to take care of your shoes, and that should be smart. All right, well, Ben, keep us updated on your yeah, hunt good luck, for your shoes, man. and good luck. Yeah, that, that's probably more interesting than my bowling match was. <laughs> yeah, 57. <laughs> yeah, what, what was it, 57? <laughs> hey, man, I threw a couple of balls that hit. 
pins a couple of times. <laughs> expectations <laughs> expectations were low, and the low expectations were about 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 as advertised. As long as you didn't bowl a zero, you did all right. <laughs> you did yeah. all right, my man. When you expect nothing, you can't be let down. All right. Well, wow. good luck in the search, Ben. Good luck. All right. So looking at the semifinals, uh, Carl and Big Cat with the advantage. Now, Kyle, have you? When was the last time you bowled? That first game was a one fifty-seven. That was yeah, insane. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Did you warm up at all? It's like. Well, no, it's just like beer pong. Like you, you can have a good game and then for not. There's no skill to it. For not. But Titus. He played in college. He was an Ohio State basketball player. He was playing. He said he's playing every week. He got a two fifty six. He wasn't getting free tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> he was just doing that for fun. I don't know. You think he was bowling for free? Probably bowling for free. Mm -hmm. He is laser focused right now. Do you think this is coming off as good? Like this is probably his first big barstool production. He he was like clearly nervous beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Now he's excited. That's good. Let's see. What is, what's the score right now, Jake? So Big Cat leads Sydney by eight. And Carl down by one to Titus. Guys, we're halfway through. A one-pin game. Pin point? Either way, it's close. Oh, that's a huge strike from Carl, who has a chance at another turkey. A turkey? Mm. Turkey. Three strikes? Yeah, three strikes in a row. Carl's good. He got one in the last game. Carl's dad owned a bowling alley, so he was in the mix as a kid. Yes. All right, we're going to bring on a very special guest in a moment here. Kyle, you want to yuck it up with Darian? Darian so from Atlanta. Now, I'm going to let you guys do that. You guys deserve it. All right, Darian. let's welcome in Darian, a stoolie yeah. from Atlanta. He Darian. The Bolero sweepstakes that allowed him to participate in this tournament. Darian, you went one and done. What went wrong today? Well, look at Carl. Mm -hmm. He's in the championship. He's in the championship. So are you rooting for him to win? I am, yeah. Like, Carl is a beast. Like, yeah. Look at him. Now, we were talking a little bit before the tournament began. How familiar are you with Barstool and the content that goes on here? Very familiar with Barstool. I watch a lot of podcasts, and then I watch a lot of reels. So, see a lot of it. Who's, who's your favorite of the Barstool? Uh, I really watch Million Dollars Worth of Game. Shout out to Gillian Walla. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But, as far as bowling, I go to Bolero Marietta. So, it's, it's pretty... Hey, that's my... Uh, so, did you fly up here just to get bounced in the first round? No. <laughs> I told you, look at. I, I told you, look at Carl. Look at Carl. <laughs> look at look Carl, at Carl man. That's uh, so. Big Cat made the bracket. So do you like you guys have beef? Yeah. Who's Big Cat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, Carl's a beast, man. And, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad to get beat by the, the man that's in the championship right now. And is he up right now? He is. He is. He's beating Titus. Yeah. Titus is pretty good as well. Titus is bad. Yeah. 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 He's not yeah. bad. Yeah. So you're a big Atlanta sports fan? Yes, yeah, sir. Home team, baby. Yeah. You're familiar with Big Tennessee? Big Tennessee. Yeah. He's Who? got in the office. Why would you use his fan. full? Why would you use his government name? <laughs> big T. Big, big T. T. No. No, no, no. He is he is our uh, resident Atlanta and Tennessee guy at the okay. office. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. You guys would not get along. <laughs> why not? Home he's, team. He, yeah. He's, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Darian, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Yes, yes. Go cool. yuck it up with everybody. Go talk shit to Big Cat, please. He this, he did this to you. <laughs> this should be you in the championship. Hey, round. Big Cat, here I come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go get him. Hey, nice meeting right. you. All right, thanks, Darian. What a nice guy. Nice, nice guy, and I'm happy for him. Uh, got to come up here. He won the competition, but unfortunately, bounced. Yes. And bounced. now we welcome Kyle Troop back on the 2021 PBA Bowler of the Year. What's up, guys? How are, now that you've seen these guys, a bigger sample size, how are their bowling levels? Uh, well, Carl's got a ham bone going on, you know, that four strikes in a well, row. Uh, for those that don't know what a ham bone is, what does that mean? Four strikes in a row. Uh, by the famous Rob Stone. So we have bowl, ham bone, turkey. Coach Doug's is going to come six back. Six pack. <laughs> the only six pack we'll see today is either the beer or six in a row. But uh, I'm enjoying my time. You know, Big Cat's got a little bit of game. I still think Carl, you know. Carl's I mean, going to take it? You know, uh, I did pick Eddie the first round since Carl was bowling my boy Darius. Or Darian, sorry. Darian, Darian. Wrong. Sure. Darian. Uh, but, yeah, I know Carl a little bit. 
I know he's got a little bit of game coming in. And he had like two of his own bowling balls, including a yeah. bar stool ball. That's pretty sick. That was yeah. pretty sweet. With a rose on the yes. inside. Little Ernie McCracken kingpin reference there. That's right. That's right. So you, you think Carl is a lock to win this? I wouldn't say a lock because no. I have also seen Carl bowl. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it could be really good and then in the blink of an eye. And now how much of bowling is a mental game? Um, at our level, it's probably all mental. Yeah. On the uh, professional level here. It's probably still a little more mental, too, you know, because there's a lot of smack talking going on, but all about staying in that process, you know, finding your own groove, finding your uh, the happy Gilmore happy place, you know, finding that mental uh, that mental state of calmness while you're bowling, I guess, is a goal of ours. Now, bowling is a very common first date. Do you do that, or is it too much? Is like you don't want to bring them to work with you? Yeah, uh, I've definitely never been on a first date bowling, uh, you know, typically because I don't I mean, I can just grab a house ball and go throw it down the lane, but I'm probably still going to bowl like 160. Yeah. 170 because I'm always going to at least like try. Uh, yeah. No, we save the bowling for on like the back burners, like honeymoon. Like, hey, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, Carlin, like, oh, by the way, <laughs> I can bowl. Watch this. <laughs> oh, by the way, honey. <laughs> All right. So locking on these semis, it looks like Carl's going to advance to the championship. Big Cat, a slight edge over Sydney, but we're not done yet there. Sydney has been clutch yes. in the 10th. I mean, she doubled the first round to win, spare eight in the second round. Hey, that the uh, eight-pound heater, the six-pound heater house ball down the middle yeah, uh, is definitely working for her. She got to show up again in the ninth and 10th, though. All right, well, Kyle Troop, the bowler of the year, we appreciate your time, and thanks for sticking around. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, you can check out Kyle on the PBA. He, is that bull riding as well? PBR. Ah, that's a beer. B bull riding. Oh, the claw machine stuff. Have you tried it? Megan, Megan, making money. Tried to win Ben Mintz's shoes. <laughs> Weird still move. Still doesn't know we're missing. <laughs> well, I guess he knows they're missing. He doesn't know the location. He could see them and just be like, "That's a coincidence." <laughs> I don't remember yeah, being in the claw machine. Shoes. Maybe he's back. <laughs> Where's the microphone? Brandon, Brandon the has mic? the mic. Brandon's going to interview Carl, who is going to advance to the championship match. Brandon's looking for Carl. Meanwhile, big cut up by 16 over Sydney in the middle of the ninth frame. Or excuse me, 26. So time running out for Sydney. She needs a strike. Ooh, she'll need a spare here to have a chance in the 10th. So it looks like we, we may have our championship match. Uh, yep. That'll do it probably. Oh, I've never seen that before. One pin went down and it went in the gutter. No kidding. That was pretty sick. Unbelievable. Bowling is a beautiful game, man. Yes. You seen that episode of Sweet Life, Zach and Cody, where they do the bowling? I don't think I have, no. It's great. It's a feel-good story. We have a, I think our age gap is right there. I was never a sweet life in Zach oh, and Cody. Okay. How old are you? I'm 27. Okay. Damn, yeah. Yeah. You were watching Sweet Life in Zach and Cody. Too old. Yeah. Basically, uh, I think it was Zach who got suspended or got uh, grounded for That's being a bully to his twin no, brother, Cody, right and he bowled a 7 plus 10 split against a rival hotel. That's classic Zach. Yeah. And Arwen, All right. the custodian. Ah. All right, we'll go over it. We'll no. go. Yes. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> no, Brandon, this Brandon, we're talking. Carl, who's we're talking to the S S L O. Carl, who's going to the, uh, going to the finals. Carl, you're hot. Yeah, I am warm, actually. My back's sweaty. Just touch Very the Very sweaty. Yeah, feel it. No, feel it. Yeah, yeah. That's moist. Yeah, damp. Moist, yeah. very much. So are my loins. Uh, we're heading to the championship. I get it's me versus Big Cat. The way it should be if we're doing a bowling tournament. Are you calling him out right now? Uh, I don't. And nobody. This is like organized crime. Working at Barstool Sports, you don't call out the head bosses. Uh, but you know, it would be nice for the family to earn a little bit and uh, to do a good job here. Represent. Again, shout out to my uncle Timmy Bleakers, Evergreen Park, 20 years history. Shout out to Timmy Bleakers. All right. Thank you, Carl. Uh, Sydney, her final bowl. And that'll do it. Big Cat moves on to the championship uh -huh. versus Carl. Now, we were all contractually obligated to lose to Big Cat. <laughs> so, Big Cat versus Carl. You heard Big Cat. He needs to bowl the game of his life to take down Carl. This, is this 
a David versus Goliath matchup, Nick, or is, is it ev more even than we think? Um, is that Old Testament? I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's just um, a phrase we use in sports. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I've. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, let's show. Let's show the bracket. I think Carl. Because I was gonna say, Jack would just make fun of me. Jack would just say, "You too. You're balling too hard." All right. So Big Cat and Carl. <laughs> what is he? What is he saying about the? Act? I can't hear Carl, but all I know is he's bowling too hard. From my opinion, that's all I'm seeing. He's bowling too too hard. So it's Big Cat versus Carl in the championship. Yep. And they're going to go to lane 26. And if we can get the camera back here on the booth, guys, they are playing for this. The Barstool wow. Bolero Invitational Trophy, which is loose already. <laughs> we'll tighten this up here. Yeah. Brandon, do you think Big Cat has a shot here? Wasn't nearly as good as the second and third games, but he's got a bold game of his life, just like he said. I'm going to need everything. I'm going to need everything. I also switched up my balls. Last thing Carl needs is a bigger cup. <laughs> I'm just disappointed in Titus just turning out to be a fucking loser. Oh, I know, I know. All right, so we're waiting on Carl for the championship match. Did he leave? Is I, Titus I too cool for us? I believe so. Would you like to come? Yeah, talk to Titus. Here's Titus. The no, Brandon, in the interview, interview your guy. Titus. Brandon. 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 I, I can leave too. Oh, everybody just leaves. Just leave me the microphone. <laughs> uh, Titus. You had a chance What's there, up, and then you Jake? just. I think we can all agree, no matter what happens in this last game, uh, the story of this tournament is my improbable run to the finals. It's been incredible. It's, it's stuff legends are made of. Uh, I never thought I'd be here. Let's take a let's take compete. a look back at this run. Uh, you beat right, Hank. Go. Good luck. <laughs> you Hank. beat Megan. Yep. You beat Sydney. Mm -hmm. To make it to the uh, <laughs> to make it to the championship. It's been amazing. Titus, I will say before your final four match, me, Brandon, and Nick all said you were going to win the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, I uh, – What happened? I don't want to make excuses, but, um, you know, I, I, I left a lot I, – I set a world record for most nines ever. I, I, the pin action wasn't happening for me. I wasn't getting the pin action I needed. It was very and, disappointing. Yeah. All right, we're underway in the championship. And oh Big Cat starts off with the X. Carl's locked in, though. I will say, this man had, like – five strikes in a row. He, he closed out the game before he played mine with, like, four strikes in a row. I feel like row. Carl could sit here and bowl for three weeks and yes. be unbothered. Yes. He's extremely sweaty as well. Like, he's – you can see the back sweat on his shirt there. Here's Carl. Oh, oh, and Big Cat with the advantage early on. At what point do you think Carl would start to feel pressure, given he is the heavy favorite in this one? I would say early. I mean, the yeah. Big Cat starts out with a strike. That's big. It's a big statement. And Big Cat is rested, having played nothing but Hank and women. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So Big Cat's path to the championship. He beat Hank, Megan, and Sydney. Carl, meanwhile, beat Darian, who won our sweepstakes, as a nine for Carl. Uh, did, you, did you say Darian, your, Chief, and Titus? You guys said using your own ball, bringing your own ball to this when everyone else is using house balls is cheating. Is that? What you I think? would say so. I would. I would think so. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't go that far. I think that's that's unfair accusations towards Carl to like say that he's you know gaining an unfair advantage. I don't. When think, when your game started, you texted me that he was I thought cheating. I, when I was bowling, I could hear you guys talking about how it's kind of weird that Carl brought his his own balls to you the. You had to use house balls. The hey, balls stop cool talking. Though. Watch this cheater. Yeah. No. I, that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me. You had one, yeah. He, perfect through one. Perfect through one. We had uh, we had Troop here, the professional bowler. True. Yep. And he mentioned that he's had tons of perfect games before, but only two 7-10 splits. In his really? That he's ever picked up. Is yeah. That you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's on, it's on the same level as a hole in one. I wonder do they do they practice harder. that? Like do they? they you must, know how like, like you know how golfers yeah. like just get in a bunker and practice bunker shots <laughs> yeah. nonstop. Do they, they just like do they just have a lane that just sets up seven ten splits? They, they just, should. Oh. Yeah, that feels like something when, I would. When you were in college, did probe. did you try your situations that you would face in games like running out of towels, running out of Gatorade bottles? Did you? practice crying alone in your dorm on a Friday night? I, I perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Carl converts the spare, evens things up a little bit. And he means all business right now, guys. He's not saying a word to anyone. Well, he's yeah. also probably a little, a little drunk. <laughs> Just a little. I mean, not, I'm not I'm saying not sure, fully. I'm not sure. 
I will say my first game against Eddie, we were cheering for each other. Eddie would get a strike. I would high five him. Uh, he, you know, we were fist bumping each other. Like it was a little camaraderie going on. Right. KB was a little when I played him the second round. It was fifty fifty. But wait, and he then, doesn't look anybody in the eye, Titus. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah, anything yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Carl, it was just like at the, at the once we got to the final four, it was just pure competition, I guess. And there's just no camaraderie whatsoever. So Big Cat just said this game is dumb because he did not convert a spare. Was that the first you've ever interacted with Carl in your life? <laughs> Might have been. I mean, since you got hired at Barstool six months ago, you've come to nothing and said nothing to anybody. So nobody here really are, knows are, you. Are we doing this now? Nobody to here the really. Guy that, <laughs> nobody to the here guy really. that has COVID until there's an event next to his house and then he doesn't yeah. have COVID and then. That was a miraculous what, what, recovery. What, 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 you got to drive back into the office. You. I'm a hero. So there's that custom ball. I think that's Rose. He's got isn't multi it? he got multiple custom yeah, balls. Yeah, one of those barstool. No, they're cool balls, Jake. I'm not saying they're not cool balls. Yeah. I, and I don't have for the record, I don't have a problem with him bringing it. I just thought it was interesting all the chatter that everyone else was uh spreading around the bowling alley. I actually didn't hear that. It was, it was unfair that Carl brought his own ball. I just thought that was interesting. Jake, have you heard anybody else say that? That Carl brought his own ball? Yeah, that he There's was a cheating. a lot of chatter. Well, you guys have been sitting here the whole time. I've been, I believe I've been, Eddie did, too. His smells yeah. really good. Did you smell it? <laughs> I, I did not smell Eddie's balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. All right, so this championship matchup. Big Cat looking for a spare here. Got to convert those nines. And he does. He does. Keep Tight selling. match so far. Yeah. Big Cat hanging around. Carl could, could take control with a strike here. He doesn't bowl like a man who knows how to bowl. But no, he, that's what – dude, what was driving me crazy. But he does know how to bowl. This man had yeah. like five strikes in a row. Then he gets a split. And when you saw him try to pick up the split, it looked like a man I that's I saw never, that. It yeah, wasn't even I was close. Like, I was like, how is this the guy that's getting 11 strikes every damn game? Did that score go to the wrong person there, Jake? Uh, oh, no, it looks yeah, like they fixed it. There we go. Yep. Big Cat telling himself he's falling apart. But a long way to go. You've got to convert these spares, guys, to have a chance. Not really a long way to go. <laughs> Atta boy, good pickup, Dan. Oh, oh no, and no. Carl said something kind of, to him. Oh, kind of no. a dick move oh, by no. Carl. Yep. No, he was actually being fine. Relax, Jake. Now he's taking out all the anger I mean, on me. The fucking gladiators oh. in the arena judge each other, please. Not, not now, the they're now they're turning on me. Out there well, we got to be over here saying something. <laughs> yeah. Throw a goddamn bowling ball and save their fucking lives. Here goes Carl. I think you're right. He is it. Lining it up. Oh, that oh. was loud. What happened? Fuck. Might have slipped Hold out of his hand a little bit. Are we allowed to talk, or just the gladiators in the arena? Yeah, no, uh, I know. Can, can I acknowledge that this is a Big Ten matchup, Illinois and Wisconsin? So, yes. Uh, a title, hang the banner. Oh, at the shock, Big Ten shocker. The um, Big Ten knows how to bowl. <laughs> Get it. Wow. He got it. That was good. good Huge player. four pin. That was Huge good. Huge four pin pickup. Just keep marking. Just keep marking. I want to personally apologize to Ben Mintz as well. Why? I'm here because I, I promised him I would win for him and I would give the trophy to him when I won. And I mean, uh, he's lucky to be here. Right? See, you realize what he did? Can't catch a break. Can't catch a break. He did the thing you do in your car every day. Break. He, he said I'm something he said on the live stream. I'm starting right to get fatigued. Kind of Physically and mentally Half fatigued. Team. No. Oh, oh boy. No. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. So, oh. Sometimes, yeah, we happened <laughs> earlier. <laughs> a gutter ball knocked down. Gutter ball. Mentally and physically ball. fatigued. Mind of their own. It's over. I think the no, tough road is over. taking its toll, man. What an improbable run to the finals I made. It's incredible. People will be talking about that run for years. Carl continuing to take advantage. It's a beautiful ball. It, it has is. a rose in it. So does he use one ball for the first roll and one for the second? Yeah, yeah you got your spare ball. Spare ball. Oh, spare ball is a little. That one sounds like it's breaking every time. It sounds you use loud. It. it sounds like broken glass. Spares. Spare ball, I believe, is traditionally a little lighter. You can hear a little bit lighter. You can hear the heavy breathing out there. Yes, that might be me, though. That a boy. That there a boy. we go. Get back That's in a it. Big strike for Big it. Cat. He has life. Get back in it. Let's go. 
Interesting sportsmanship there by Carl. Excited who, that it's close. Who do you think Hank was rooting for there? He's rooting for a big cat. Bad one. Bad one. That wasn't that bad. If he doesn't spare this, it opens the door for Big Cat. This is big. No, no, this is the last diet of my life. It's the last diet of my oh, life. We're talking if dieting I don't, now. If I don't lose weight, yeah. I'm, I'm going to kill myself. It's the last diet of my life. This is huge from Carl. And he oh, connects got with these. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Makes it look easy. Look how much this man is sweating. <laughs> yeah. man, He's fighting for his life out there. Is. Oh, fuck! Look, he likes it, Jake. Oh! 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 Pin action. That was crazy. What happened in your game, Brandon? Lost. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> so, Titus, after this match, word on the street is you're going to present the trophy to the winner in an interview. Uh, wh what? <laughs> you're going to be like the, yeah, uh, the commissioner. Just, uh, wh what? <laughs> In what world is that how yeah, this works? I needed those that's the team that like, loses that's in the final four King. has to go deliver the trophy. That's what the, we've been told. That's what we've been told. What the hell kind of system is that? That's what we've been told. I'm that's still licking my wounds over here. That's what also, management said. I don't get a cool down period at all. I don't know if this if this is going to be like Colin Morikawa 2.0, but yeah, the yeah, trophy is very loose. Remember when Colin Morikawa won the major and then it, 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 yeah. it fell off? I we think, might have that again. I think Carl's about to start to really stretch in his legs on this one. Yeah. He just uh, rolled a strike. Titus, we're going to go ahead and give you the trophy now. Thank you. And if you want to start easing your way any any moment. It's, uh, really, it's really loose. <laughs> yeah, be careful. It's a little ginger. Wait. You just want me to walk over and. Damn. Well, just wh however you want to do it. Solely. Fucking love you, dude. Big cat showing you love just remember Soli. the good times and times like this. When you're down in the dumps, just remember you always got a Fasoli in your back uh. pocket. Oh, we also can't close this broadcast out without finalizing the saga on Ben Mintz's shoes. Yeah, I don't know if Damn. he's found them or not. Damn. We need to bring one of our cameras to the claw machine after oh. it's over. Have we found the shoes yet? Has Ben Mintz found his shoes? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Nick said, what do you think? <laughs> mm, you got it. Oh. All right, we're here at Bolero here in Illinois. Tons of locations across the country. And at Bolero, you can enjoy bowling, food, drinks, and guaranteed lanes whenever you reserve online. Visit bolero.com using promo code BARSTOOL for 15% yeah, off your next reservation. This offer is only valid through August 31st. All right, if Big Cat were a string three in a row here, maybe we'd have something. Yes. There's one. Oh, there's, there's one. one. There's one. Now, we've seen some 10th frame heroics from Sydney yes. twice today. Yep. Carl does have a 10th frame turkey as well. He does. So. Titus, so, Titus we've been told to tell you to get up and go take the fucking trophy over this there now. two. For number two. Oh. Fuck. Disappointment. Heartbreak. Yes. Oh, there goes man. the trophy. Titus taking it. Oh, Tech Guy Andrew steals it. Why, why am I doing this? Why not? <laughs> this is torture. Watch the cord. Nope. And that'll do it. Air. Can't do it. For that'll do it. Is it enough? Okay, yeah. Good game. I don't Great think point. so. Is it enough? He's down by no. five. How would it no, be I mean, enough? He's, he's not enough. It's going to update. Sometimes it updates. Yeah, how would it be strike. enough if he's already <laughs> down? I mean, it's Gunner on the last. Sometimes it updates. I want my fat You're Jake, maybe not a bowling announcer. You're really a stupid son of a bitch. You know that? You and Kirkman talking about I don't know how lot. you keep getting these fucking jobs. Oh, that's classy. Oh. That's classy. Oh. Why is he doing that? That's classy. That? He's that's a classy move. <laughs> how is this classy? That's a classy move. Five pin championship. That was incredible theater. Classy move. Wow. That's a classy move. The box score watchers are going to think this is a lot. Yeah, they're like that. What a match. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if you have, imagine if you have the, move. the over, that. the over 297 in this match. That would be heartbreaking. Guess he's gonna do it Stop again. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> and wow. Carl you is your Barstool ass. Bolero Invitational That's Champion. Oh, 151, 146. Carl is your Good for Carl. Big Cat. <laughs> well earned. Titus, do you want to interview our champion? You I have do not. You have a I microphone. Not, Jake. Can someone Thank interview our champion? Uh, Carl, uh, walk to the microphone. Carl, how does it feel, man? 
Well, um, imagine when you played at Ohio State and you guys showed up with expectations and actually won something. This is how I feel. Like when wow. I came in, everybody knew I was a bowler. Everybody knew I was supposed to achieve something. Um, and I went out and I did it. And I don't even mean that to disrespect you. I'm just trying to relate to it like the chorus because it means yeah. so much. It means so much. Yeah. That's that's inspiring stuff. Uh, the, the final two w tosses into the gutter. Was this uh, your form of shit talking or was this an act of respect? No, I, I actually, I know a lot of people are just getting into bowling. And if I wax Dan, then it doesn't look very good. I want people to know it was a close game. Dan's a great bowler, and there's a great bowler watching this. You you are a great bowler. You, you may just not know it yet. All you have to do is get to the lanes, get a group of people together. The Bolero Center's all over the country. Get, I'm not even joking. Like, like, look at me. I mean it when I say it. Get a group of people together and start a freaking league because it's awesome. Those of you at home, I, I can see it in his eyes how serious he was with that. So grow the game. I uh, appreciate Carl's uh, contributions to the world of bowling. Uh, Worthy champion, Carl, the Barstool Valero Invitational Champion. All right, thank you so much, Thanks Titus. So much. Shout out to my mom, my uncle Timmy, Whoa. obviously my wife. Let him shout uh, out his mom. Grove, Illinois, White Sox Dave, everybody at home. Love you guys. Truly the king of Chicago right Love there, you Carl. Yes, congratulations to Carl on winning the Barstool Bolero Invitational Championship. Again, you got to check out Bolero. Tons of locations nationwide, and you can join bowling, food, drinks, and guaranteed lanes whenever you reserve online. Visit Bolero.com using promo code Barstool. 15% off your next reservation offer through August 31st. Let's take one last look at what happened here today at Bolero. History happened here, here today, in Jake. Illinois. History. Carl defeats Big Cat. Mm -hmm. Big Cat going through the murderer's row of Megan and, and Hank and Mincy Sydney. And Hank and, and Sydney. And who's then, the, of course. Who's the, okay, so Carl's the big winner. Who would you say is the biggest loser uh, out of well, this? Well, Stephen Che practiced. Stephen, Stephen Che practiced and then lost in the first round. Neglected his family last night, went to the bowling alley to practice to lose in the first round. That's. I thought you yeah. were kind oh, of. Oh, yeah, a big Ben, loser Mitz, too, ben Mitz's shoes. We have an update on that. One last update before we go off the air. Oh, he's drinking out of the trophy. That's a shock. <laughs> All right, we don't have an update on Ben Mintz's shoes. Did All we right. find your shoes? He's no. still wearing his bowling shoes. <laughs> okay. All right, so for Titus, Brandon, Nick, everyone who joined me in the broadcast booth, for Lauren, who was our producer, our entire truck here at Bolero, Sorry everyone at Bolero, off, Jake. I'm Jake Marsh signing off from Bolero. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here from Bolero. Have a good night. Bye, everyone.